This spring, WPT is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages ship for the ultimate adults-only luxury cruise experience. Featuring a WPT championship with a $1 million guarantee. When you're competing on the felt, enjoy world-class eateries, pickleball and golf in Grand Cayman and an epic pool party in the Bahamas. The Sexton Cup is heading out to see you could become the next WPT champion. Book your adventure today at WPTVoyage.com. What is up? How are we doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday evening. We are back at it. Best Bet Live coming to you with a 10-25 no in the hold on cash game tonight. Should be a fun one. What is going on? My name is Ryan, also known as Country. Joined by Mike Kruger, card room manager, Best Bet Orange Park. Mike, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Excited to watch this game tonight. Sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's uh, going to be a fun one. Definitely excited to see how this one goes. Uh, of course, uh, we are busy in the room with the Run Good series. Day two or day one, flight three and four for event number one. That's going on right now. Flight number three, we had 145 entries in flight number three, so we have definitely met that guarantee. And uh, this is uh, something new we're doing on the live stream now with our time rate games. Mike, uh, we tired it out last night. I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but uh, all the uh, double board bomb pots now for this 10-25 Nolan Mahonam game, we're going to be doing PLO bomb pots. Definitely know that happens in some of the bigger games here, so nice to see it on stream. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, in fact, uh, there's some exciting things I will uh, be telling you guys about uh, that's going to be happening on the live stream in the month of April, so uh, definitely going to be sharing some information about that, but there you are seeing the uh, PLO double board bomb pot here on this 1025 No Limit Hold'em game. Again, it is No Limit Hold'em, but the uh, double board bomb pots that will be happening on the dealer change, we will be doing double board PLO bomb pots for this uh, time rate game. And uh, looks like right now, Corey has a pretty good amount of the equity here as well as Ian in this bomb pot. Actually, it's been a while since we've seen, seen Ian on the live stream. Yeah, I've seen him at IRL a lot more often than on the live stream, that's for sure. All right, an ace on the top board, a five of clubs on the bottom board for the river. Does let Ian know he's got the only ace that's out there. Yep. Yeah, the only one. But it's going to be he and Todd at this moment. It looks like they're going to be chopping this up, and it is going to be that way. So Todd and Ian. Chopping this up. And Todd a flush on the uh, top board. Boat on the bottom board for Ian. And there we go. But yeah, we got some exciting uh, different games we're going to be doing on the live stream in the month of April. Uh, definitely keep an eye on the schedule when it is released on the website. But uh, we are going to be doing some 1 3 No Limit Hold'em Cash games with the uh, double board bomb pots. That's a game you typically see at our St. Augustine room. But we are going to showcase that game here on the live stream. Also a uh, 1K mixed game that we're going to do with uh, No Limit Hold'em and PLO. And uh, a game that you're familiar with, Mike, because it's a game that happens in your room. A 5-10 No Limit Hold'em game, but it's going to be one dealer button and then another reverse button where there's going to be double board bomb pots happening in that one. And that's a game you guys typically run in your room, Mike. Yeah, that's been the favorite over here. 510 added that wrinkle in a couple months ago, and they've been playing with it ever since. They fell in love with it, so it'll be fun to see it on the live stream. Yeah, Carson, uh, who's definitely played in that game, I kind of gave him a heads up, told him, like, hey, that's something we're going to be doing, and he said immediately, sign him up. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
of course. Speaking of, sign them up here. How about heads up battle here with Todd and Carson? Pocket Queens versus Ace 10. And there's a 10 on the board. So Todd with the pair of 10s. Carson with his overpair with the ladies. These two have battled pretty often. Top pair, top kicker. Todd's going nowhere. You can see him just check call. And the deuce on the turn. I mean, listen, Todd ever gets a piece of the board, he's staying in there. Fourth spade comes out. That'll, that'll slow them both down a little bit. Yeah. Well, it looks like Todd's going to go ahead and try to bluff at this. And Carson. It might have been a little bit of a value, a little bit of blocker size. He went pretty small. Yeah. Again, these two have battled very often, so imagine Todd doesn't want to check it over and let Carson fire a big bet. Push him off of top pair. Kind of got to name his own price there. So Carson does indeed scoop that up. But yeah, a lot of the uh, regulars that's in our room typically playing tonight. See Corey there in the one seat. Uh, Tony in the three. Ian there in the four. Of course, Donnie in the game as well. Todd L. And then our two friends from South Florida, Mike and Noah. Which, by the way, Mike and Noah um, play in the uh, same room in South Florida as Lexo. Lexo actually hopped in his uh, chat last night and shouted out uh, those two players. So, kind of let him know. Told him, like, hey, just let you know, Lexo hopped in the chat last night. And they're like, oh, nice. That's cool. Perfect. Way there. <laughs> yeah, should be a fun one today. But yeah, again, uh, flight number three going on right now. Again, saw 145 entries in flight number three. So we have definitely met the guarantee for sure, which is the 100K guarantee for event one. Basically free rolling the rest of the way as far as the uh, prize pool is concerned. We will have the final table Sunday night. And Mike, are you commentating that final table? I think that's the plan as of now. Okay. Love yeah, myself so, a good final table. Yeah. So I think it's uh yeah I think it's gonna be you and Adonis uh, Sunday oh night boy. running the show. Uh, Miguel Pocket Kings. Miguel who uh, had a pretty good night last night. Oh, and Don waking up with Jax. Yeah, three bet looks like. Maybe five hundred to go. Trying to load it up out of position is Don. Let's see what Miguel likes to do. <laughs> is he like to four bet it here, or does he just call? So from what we've seen in Miguel's history, I think if he goes with a four bet, we'll see Don be able to get away from it. Yep, and he is going to put in the four bet. Twelve hundred to four bet. It went pretty small. It might string Don along for that cheap. Only seven hundred more. Right. <laughs> 700 more to at least see a flop. They're already 1,700 in the middle. Tell so Don doesn't love it. <laughs> Much different when it's Miguel putting in this kind of a four bet versus a player like Todd or Carson. Yeah, yeah. Anybody hasn't watched before, Miguel tends to play it pretty straight up where some of these other guys like to mix it up pretty hard. Todd with Don. Oh, very familiar with all of their tendencies. Yeah, absolutely, and Don does put in the call to see a flop here. 10 ace five, two spades. Don does have the jack of spades. Surely the ace is a card neither player wanted to see though. Right. Of course, anytime someone has kings, an ace coming out, it's ace magnet. Miguel gonna bet 300 here, very small bet. About an eighth of a pot. I mean, if he could see Don's jacks, this would be perfect. <laughs> Obviously, he's trying to just put in a small C bet with the ace on board. Don will let it go. So Miguel does scoop up that pot. You can tell definitely Don there on the flop. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, and you see, see Don's face. Obviously, the alarm bells went off in his head. It's an interesting size of Miguel basically going an eighth of a pot on that bet. It does take it down. Uh, Todd did manage to get unstocked uh, last night, 55. He did, absolutely. 
definitely did work himself out of that. about every hand so far we've seen the $50 straddle on mm -hmm. games pretty quickly evolving to a 10 25 50 like it usually does yeah uh, and I'll let you take a guess on who the person was that wanted that to happen <laughs> I could easily elect about half this table I assume Todd was uh, not shy in voicing that desire most of these guys aren't going to shy away from the action that's for sure I talked to Jimmy about the thing, and he was saying that you had something to come up, or where you shot at people going. Something came up, you said? Well, I think I should be able to make it, but my, yeah, granddad is, I don't know how he's still alive, but he's going to be passing here, which I think he's going to be passing here. And then um, a friend of mine, uh, he died more than Fold around a Todd's button. We're going to see him open it up with the Jack 7 of Clubs. Makes it 150 to go. Todd going to open just about any two cards on the button when it folds to him, that's for sure. Corey in the 50 spot. Pretty quickly puts in the call at the five tray off suit. He's going to defend pretty wide, especially against Todd's opens. Yeah. Todd actually did flop the best of it, but Seabet was good enough to take it down regardless. Is there a place that's close <laughs> spot? Or did, do you know where they're going to play or not? No? I don't even know where they're going to play. You want to get some other pick balls? Ian? 5-5? Five, five. What? No. No. Right side. <laughs> Dang, I was first up and there was three tables and I took that one. It was good. Good thing to go. It was a lot more. Three points for you? Yeah, that's what I came here for, because I got the OP, and there was, there was yeah, I looked at the list online and saw it, so I was like, oh, cool. Speaking yeah, well, of Todd's aggression, we're seeing on display here. If you can just, like, put your name on it up with five who's suited. Figured if it, yeah, I didn't know. So I, I was like... If there's a chance that it gets juicy, I didn't want to not put my name up there, you know what I mean? Yeah. I see Don put in the call to Jack 8 suited. Going to be out of position here, but again, as we've talked about, Don very aware. Todd loves being aggressive. Fortunate for Don when the clock comes down. Queen high, all diamonds. Other than a gut shot straight draw, not much for Don. None of that. Todd puts out the C bet. Don's just going to let it go. <laughs> Todd's going to show, try to wake the game up a little bit. Early action here, as we did see, Todd put his uh, head on the metal like he loves to do in the live stream games. On display there, can't imagine he's ever going to stop. In case anybody tuning in is unaware, this is a 10 25 50 millimet hold'em game. We are coming to you live from Best Bet in Jacksonville, Florida. Three games every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Occasionally, like this weekend, a tournament final table coming on Sunday. Yeah, in fact, uh, we got a ton of uh, different things coming up because of the Run Good series being in town. Somebody just swapped two pair. 
That'll be Mike and Miguel, bottom pair. I'm going to go ahead and bet 150 here. Check raise from Mike. Yeah, he is playing this hand out of position, even though he's got a Pretty strong hand in the form of top two. You don't really want to slow play with two spades and so many straight draws available. <laughs> a lot of bad runouts could come his way. Mm -hmm. Instead, you just try to start pumping the money in as early as you can. Thank you, appreciate it. So, battle, battle of Mikes, Mike and Miguel. <laughs> Tournament? Mike taking it down. Good luck. By the way, already uh, close to 70 entries for flight number four. That's uh, taking place right next door to us. So tournament uh, going to be seeing quite a few of the tournament players probably hanging around, especially with this game going. All right, I don't want to be the odd man out. That's like outrageously knitting 50. I just, I just wish I probably but yeah, for example, uh, Monday, um, we're going to be doing the uh, women's feature to final <laughs> women's tournament on Monday. Then on Tuesday, the Run Good Ambassador Bounty Tournament. It's going to be featured a final on that one. There's the off chance that I do, right? So a ton of different tournaments that we are going to have coming up on the live stream as well. Of course, also that main event final table is going to be next Sunday, 300K guarantee. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of week. <laughs> yep. All right, we're heads up. I mean, one would say that we put this together for you, Mike. I do run good. Yeah, exactly. All clubs here. King Jack Six Board. Todd's Ace High is what's in the lead. With Corey's going to bet two hundred. Todd lets it go, so Corey is going to take this one down. There's also a uh, package satellite that's going on right now as well. Uh, I believe we're going to have seven uh, packages that's going to be given out in the satellite, and then the bubble is a uh, $165 payout. <laughs> that very much sounds like a Mario thing. Oh, nice, Hunter. That's good to hear, man. So you're going to become a Jacksonville regular. Nice, man. Congratulations. Uh, by the way, uh, Hunter played on uh, our live stream a couple weeks back. Uh, he and a few of his friends from uh, South Carolina. I guess uh, made a good enough impression. Hunter's going to be coming back down here. Nice. Congrats, man. We'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Five games actually look juicy. I didn't even look at the lineup. Good luck in the tournament. It's break. Very good. No, it's good. It's break. It's break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to see. Also, the 150 and 150. Sound like Corey put in the raise the 150. King four suited. No five. No, I was looking at who's next on this list. Oh, if we lose you, if we get Grant, somebody. Grant is here. Grant's the guy that was trying to buy to get my check. Okay. Trade, oh, deuce, guy, yeah, queen, flop. Todd's ace high is what's in the lead here. Let's go check, check. Five on the turn. So now a couple straights get there. 
Corey does have a four, so he's open-ended now. Likes to check, take the free river card. This is good. I had the 200 that was ready to go. Corey called with a lie about his hand that time. I'm not trying to sound like I'm serious. I need y'all to think I'm tight. It's like, you're bluffing. At least make a bluff. I had red cards on this club. Even the dealer knows you're lying. They're on camera. Oh, they love it on camera. Yeah. Seven eight jack flop rainbow board. Don with a jack. Todd has a seven. Noah has a gut shot. Now the four liner is out there, and that is the straight for Noah. Don turns top pair. To, has top pair, but turns the gut shot. Noah's just sitting here with the nuts. Oh, Noah's gonna go ahead and put in the raise to a thousand. Now Don with that same gutter. Dream spot for Noah, especially holding the queen of diamonds. No chance your opponent has queen ten of diamonds. Free rolls you. Jack pairs the board. Rough river card for Don. Yeah, gives him trips. And on top of that, you know, the thing is the four liner is still out there. But flushes do miss. He's going to check it. Question of what Noah wants to target here. He probably thinks Don has a 10 in his hand. He's going to go big. Bet's 1,500. Don puts in the call. And Don goes bluff catching for Jack. Gets shown the bad news. Is Noah's going to scoop a pot over 5K. Yeah, pretty big pot. Don going to have to reach into the weekend pouch and load back up. Listen, this type of game... Uh, Especially with the players that's on this table. You better have as much ammunition as you possibly can. Don is going to go ahead and add 5K. Can't imagine we're going to see anybody short stacked on this game all night. No, no. Especially with the way uh, this game is going to play. Absolutely. Don put in the flat call on the button with nines. Elected not to put in the three bet. Let's invite Todd to come along with King 5 suited. So, three ways we go to 10 10 Trey. Two diamonds on board. That is a good flop for Ian with the flush draw. Yeah, especially as the pre flop raiser. Let's him put out the continuation bet. Don with the nines. Pretty easy call. King on the turn. So now spades are out there as well as diamonds. Ian's going to go ahead and fire out a bet here. Really 
interesting to see what Ian wants to do now that he bricked out. He reads Don for strength. Maybe he thought Don was trapping him with a 10. Given the fact Don was in position, he could have easily just been smooth calling with trips. I think if he read Don for as weak as he was, he probably would have put in a big bet there, put him to the test. But as played, we do see Don take down a pot right after shipping a big one away. See if he can keep that momentum going or not. So he's got some rebuilding to do. Yeah, especially that last pot that he uh, lost to Noah. Rivering trips, but Maybe Noah already had the straight. All right, so here we go. Looks like we got three players at a flop here. Eight, Trey, seven. Interesting flop is Don flops open ended, Corey flops top pair. Mike, the pre flop razor flops bottom pair. And he is going to put in the bet of 75 after Corey checked it to him. Don not going anywhere with his open ender. In fact, he put in the raise, this Don. He's going to go with a small raise here. Being in position, it's not a bad move by him. Kind of freezes both other players on the turn, so if he wants to continue on the turn, he can. If he wants to just check it back on the turn, he can. The way this hand played out. Queen on the turn some now. Options. Yeah. Corey going to check it to Don. Don checks it back. Ten on the river gives two pair for Corey, but straight for Don gets there. In the meantime, front door flush missed. There's no spade came in, so Don could easily go big here and make it look like he missed out on the spade draw of some kind. Let's go 500, and Corey does call. Yeah. I think no matter what Don bets there, it's getting called by Corey because it looks like Don has spades so much when he checks back the turn. Yeah, unfortunately he still has his uh, work cut out for him. So yeah, he's definitely still a little stuck, but he might be getting it over a little bit quicker. Yeah, with the way this game is uh, going to play, especially in the later stages tonight, he's got plenty of opportunities for sure. Yeah, lots of uh, tournaments happening today between satellites and, of course, flights three and four going on right now. A pair of trays and an eight. Rainbow board. Doesn't really hit anybody. Miguel has the best of it right now. We're going to bet 150, about half pot. Good luck. Miguel puts in a raise of 500 and takes it down. Thievery. Thievery yeah. from Miguel. <laughs> Thievery with the best hand. I was just get in there. It's almost the same as saying last time I did this last series, I was like, pop, pop, pop. And I'm not saying, <laughs> 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 I wasn't even All right, so 30 minutes down. Get in there, man. We're just looking at the beat pips. You got to get Mikey and Noah and Carson in the game. They're missing out on a good one right now. 
14% VPIP for those guys. Todd, no surprise, 57% VPIP for him. Don, 46% VPIP. And then here's the uh, winnings and losses as of now. Don is the most stuck, but again, we're only 30 minutes into the live stream. Plenty can happen. Yeah, you're right, that guy. It is Jacob and Kirk, the uh, the originals. Yeah, let's do it. That's uh, dealing tonight here in this uh, 1025 game that's going on with the fifty dollars straddle under the gun. All right, PLO bomb pot time. Trade deuce ace on the top. Ten jack jack on the bottom. Corey has a pretty good uh, portion of ways he can connect on that top board. Mike uh, flopped the boat. I'll take his hand. Yeah. Flopped the boat on the bottom board. Todd with an ace and also a flush draw on the top board. Uh, eight on the top, five on the bottom, both clubs. Mike, it's a dream, dream card staying under a jack on the bottom. Nothing can have him beat as things stand right now. So Mike is betting 800. Todd calls and Corey gonna let it go. What's up, Mike? Eight on the bottom, a queen on the top. So we're gonna. So we're gonna see Mike just go big. Announces pot, I believe. Yeah, yeah did announce pot. It's so a twenty-four hundred. Todd. Gonna let it go, and Mike's gonna take down a pretty good pot there. Uh, Earl, nicely for him to just rip it big on the end. Yeah. Uh, Earl, it's 145 that were in flight number three today. 145 entries in flight number three. So there'll be 15 advancing to the final day from that field. Which, by the way, everyone that does advance does make the money. So everyone that does advance into day two, uh, which is Sunday, they will be in the money. We're making advance. Wait, are we making advance? Yeah, because if so, then that needs to be in. Okay, well, yeah, I already, I already waved yeah. the white flag. Yeah, but so they like it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I figured if they were going to, that's a little All right, let's go and see a flop here. Ace, five, four. I think Todd had an ace. No, excuse me, no, excuse me. Noah flopped two pair, actually. Ace, five. Ian, unfortunately, well, he has a wheel drop at the end. Queen on the turn. You guys hanging out with us so appreciate you guys watching tonight it's 10 25 game with the 50 dollars straddle under the gun actually we'll start with ian sounds like miguel straddle for 100. he 
Ian, ace queen. Gonna go ahead and uh, raise it up to 250. Pocket jacks. He likes to just call. Call a three bet, maybe incoming, but Ian did open under the gun. Looks a little bit stronger than a normal open. Eight, seven, king. Two diamonds on the board. Three twenty-five to bet for Ian. A terrible flop for Jax. But he is going to let it go, sensing that Ian had a really, really strong hand. Maybe he thinks Ian's playing a little bit tighter than he is. You know, we saw that half hour in mark. His V pip was one of the lowest. Even though, from what we've seen, he's been opening. Not quite as tight as the odds may seem, based right. on just what hands he's had. But if they're unfamiliar with each other, and you've seen a guy not playing a lot of hands, easy to proceed cautiously. Here's Corey putting in the raise. 150. King six suited. Don puts in the call with 10 tray suited. Flop doesn't really hit any of them. Well, a pair of sixes for Corey, actually. A pair of sixes. I'm going to check, check. Now four on the turn. There's a heart draw now for Don. Don improves quite a bit. There's about 200 here. Corey puts in the call. An eight of diamonds on the river to flush misses for Don. Corey's going to have the check mark. Don's going to check it. <laughs> A very small bet from Corey. 75 and Don lets it go. Corey's going to scoop that one. Miss Kathy, good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Thomas, I'll see if I can put in a request to see if we try to make that happen for you. If we have a charger, we I mean, I got six. What kind of, what kind of iPhone? iPhone. 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 Yeah. I tried to go to that box before the game started, and that thing uh, jumped as all It was all on that. Yeah, so. Uh, it's the, not the Type C. I think it's the, all the same. Thing. Do they make a Type C iPhone? Yeah, I don't think they do. All the new ones are on that. Are they? Okay, yes. Yeah. You're on the light. I'm on the old. What's a light? That's what that is. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh, so they're just making everything in the world. Punishes out. It's 307. You don't think there's meta on that? Yes, the old iPhone conversation. Corey has pocket deuces. He's 5 king flop. Seven on the turn. Continuing to put on the pressure here for Corey. He throws out another bet. Corey not going anywhere. Thinks his deuces are still good. Stay good. And Todd continuing to put pressure on. Bet's a thousand here. And Corey puts in the call. Wow. Wow. What a call. <laughs> Todd can't do anything but laugh. Just respect. Yeah. 
Corey was Sick not call. afraid. Street player, man. I expect him to lose, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would think so. Wow, Corey. <laughs> Expected to lose well, man. Stuck with it. He gets paid off. Making the call. Funny where he, funny he said he expected to lose even when he made the Would call. Would the massage have ended if you didn't just win that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, all, I was going to tell that earlier. I'm just going to go all right, so now Don has the Ducks. Looks like we're in for a multi-way pot. Yeah, got a mystery hand from Ian. Trey, eight, queen, flop, rainbow board. As of right now, I would take Ian's hand. Yeah. We don't know what it is, but... Ian is going to go ahead and fire out a bet. That's 225, two to Q. That's not take it down. Mystery hand, winning hand. Ian scoops. He has the button. Everybody else missed. I'll take whatever he's got. Yeah. Yo, Preach. Where are you at, dude? I got you, and I Awesome, thank you. Golden one. 125, seat two. I see it. I know we've had trouble with that one. Right on. Raise, 325, seat three. Mike put in the raise. Miguel three bets it. Ian, Queen Jack. Oh, you said kill it. Four, four, six, four, seven. I don't know. Let's go to King Queen suited. The gal's going to scoop it up. Yeah, there's again flight four going on right now. Last time I checked, we had 70 entries. Into flight number four. We'll get an update on that soon as well. Registration for flight number four of event number one of our Run Good also, tournament series that's going on. Never responds. Will end at 10 20 tonight. So there's plenty of time to try to register for that tournament if you want to try to get some tournament play in. We've already made that 100K guarantee for event number one. I haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> Corey three bets at the 250. <laughs> he just saw well the aware. deuces, man. Well <laughs> Four kings, seven. Corey gets seven. Trey on the turn. Noah has Noah. a king. And two pair. Kings and yeah, two pair. On that yep. flop. It's definitely been an entertaining table personality rise. I'm always down for that. Corey's going to let it go. So Noah, let's get this up. Like they're at 93 players, three levels into that fourth flight. Nice. So it's going to be a doozy tonight. We might have made the guarantee just on today. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I mean, by the time this flight's over, it sure feels like it. Yeah, for real. Already 93, and we're still 
an hour into the tournament. We haven't even hit the first break yet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Of course, once again, the Run Good series, all the tournament winners will get that dope championship ring as well as the uh, trophy. It was a lot of fun last year with the Run Good Series making its first stop ever to Best Bet Jacksonville. So it was definitely a tournament series I was looking forward to again, just because of how fun of an event that was. It sure was. Also excited about that Ambassador Bounty event that's going to be happening too. Yeah, that's going to be on Tuesday, right? Yep, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday we'll do afternoon. Yeah, we'll do feature to final. Uh, Tuesday. So when registration does officially end for that ambassador bounty, that's when we'll start up on the live stream. Bet the 70, 750, 8 7 suited. Don Ace Queen off. Has Todd left behind him to act, and Todd's gonna let it go too. So Miguel scooping up this one. It's also kind of an interesting dynamic with this table as far as like where the players are with uh, Don and Todd sitting right beside each other. Carson and Corey, essentially right beside each other, too. You guys have definitely played a lot of hands together. Bottom pair has a loan, little six of diamonds. Nobody wants to put in the call, and Corey has to take it down. Uh, Daniel asking, are the seats picked at random before the game starts, or is it first come, first serve? So uh, they do a random <laughs> seat draw. <laughs> yep. The wheels were turning, but nothing was happening. Yeah, so everyone shows up. We lay uh, eight cards face down with the seat numbers. The ace being the one seat. And uh, whatever card they draw that's face down, that is where they end up sitting. Three players of this flop. Ace five eight. Miguel does have an eight in his hand. No, Noah, putting a pretty easy C bet here. Miguel defend, puts in the call. Do some of the turn. Pretty good card for Noah to keep firing. Since he now it's a straight draw. Well, 
Since there is a small chance he can get some value out of a flush draw type hand. Miguel was sitting here with, you know, no pair with spades. Looks like Noah puts in a pot sized bet. Yeah, he's definitely trying to represent the big ace. Price out a flush draw. Noah was the pre-flopper razor and Miguel only called. Noah does have the range advantage there. Look at that, Noah's having a pretty good night too. I wanna say last, I can't remember how he did last night. That's amazing. I think he did okay. Uh, next Friday, Saturday. My man Todd's uh, hit up the buffet basically tonight. <laughs> Saw him down some sushi or something earlier. Now he's got the uh, fried rice. Still need to talk to our uh, food and beverage about <laughs> adapting what you guys have over at Orange Park, Mike. Having the uh, Southwest egg rolls every day. What? Who? Uh, yeah, my bad. Man. Good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> if you succeed, I'll have you come over here and do some negotiating for us. You guys got. You guys got a little bit better of a menu. A little bit more expansive. Every once in a while, you'll the nine. I know. Well, it looked the game. Todd at River the nine. There's a bunch of quick check downs. Everyone that used to play OP 5-5 PLO like five years ago, this is like the entire team over there. But this one's short, so Kelly Jones. Sign, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> it is not a good sign. It's free. <laughs> and it's free in the Yogurt Dreams. Yes. You need a whole bottle of wine, man. That's, that can be a thing. Stop. Damn, we should have said that. <laughs> it's the first time I would ever been able to say I got something free from Best Bet, man. You gotta buy water. You gotta just cop that bottle when you can, baby. You used to do it. Too much. Yeah. That's Big nice. turn as Miguel yeah, nice turns a royal flush draw. He fires out 200. We see Todd call. Carson's sitting here with an ace. He's going to put in the call as well. We're not going to see that royal flush come in. It's, it's not even a club at all for Miguel. I was. Um, I went to Georgia to collect that bet. Um, Carson, maybe the recipient uh, of this one after it checks around. While I was there, they were like calling him to see Miguel him. thought about firing on the river, decided not to. And Carson's ace uh, is best. And he was all—he said he was coming here, so I expected to see him when I was going to run. Yeah, he's been around. He was, I was supposed to go to dinner. He was supposed to go where? To dinner? Oh, okay. Oh, it changed? You're not going with them no more? I don't know. I see. It, he wasn't going to play it. Uh, like there's the speak of the Nicky boy, man. Ball. He just... He pop, uh, yeah, his ears are burning. Nicky go. 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 <laughs> I'm, pro I'm, pro I'm gonna make my decision here too. I might join in on the flip and then just go pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> See me, Don and Carson heads up. 886, two hearts on board. 
I got at least get at least quick check from Carson over to Don. Don the preflop razor is gonna fire out a C bet. He's gonna take it down with the worst hand. Carson not sticking around, just King High. So aside from the one real big pot, everything else has gone Don's way. Fortunately for him, that one big pot was too big. It means he's still down on the night. Where are y'all planning on going? He's all like trying. Oh, someone down here. talking to me. If y'all go to marker 32, I might be terrible. Yeah, one hour down on the live stream. Uh, like a, we'll show the like earnings in just a minute as soon as the uh, hands yeah, close out. But that's the way things bar. look. Don it's and Todd, Todd bar, top the like B pips. Corey's up there too. Miguel, 33%. Carson and Mike are just uh, kind of chilling right now. Because I want to play. An hour in. I feel bad. I left my fiance to come play. Yeah, you're going to hang out. A little bit of spence. Don and Todd, you said. Top two V tips, and they're sitting next to each other. Yeah. So the players on their left are going to have a little bit of a tough time. <laughs> this is my first time playing fucking feel up. You said it was. That's the perfect time to get involved, man. I told you the story. <laughs> I know. I'm fucking with you. Right, so there we go. The hands have closed out now. Here's the updated wins and losses right now. Noah's still up the most. I see show that one more time real quick. Mike up a bit. Don the uh, most stuck right now. Actually no, excuse me. I guess I just I had to step out and grab chips so I guess I just missed Todd uh, lose a big one. Are you trying to convince your friends to go with you to the beach? I think Todd lost the big one earlier when he uh, got picked off by Corey's deuces. Oh that's right, that's probably where all of his losses is right now then. And Corey would uh, not go anywhere. It doesn't matter. There's a list. There's a list. Get these guys out of here. Get these guys out of here. Pretty fun here. A wrap on the bottom. Flush draw plus a pair. Flush draw plus two pair up top. Um, by the by the looks of it, it's close. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ian has a diamond draw on the top board. Open ender on the bottom. Plus a pair of aces on the bottom oh, and middle pair up top. It's just, yeah. The gears were turning off. Him and Mike just have a lot of stuff. There's a lot of cards that can go a certain way that will help both of them out for sure. We're going to go to Mark 2 if you go. Okay. All right, well, then that's fair. You're not going to have a hammer lock on one board. Having this much equity on each board is beautiful, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could easily see these two get it all in on this flop. Plenty of time to lose more. Now Mike Wade options between three pot, just call. And that's what Mike's trying to figure out for sure. Let's just call. Good turn card up top as Ian turns and up flush. It's allow him to keep putting on the pressure as he was the razor on the flop. Mike, meanwhile, did did turn the flush also a little bit weaker. Also hit a pair of jacks on the bottom to go with this wrap. Saw Ian go full pot here on the turn, 2,600. Now I'm really gonna feel bad if we go to dinner, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm, just putting, I'm just putting that out there, you know what I mean? Something to smoke on, something to smoke on. A real interesting spot for Mike. And he does put in the call, so huge pot ballooning up. They are going to go off the two river cards. Does 
give Mike the straight down low. The nut straight too, so we're just gonna end up chopping this one up. So anticlimactic ending, but seems fair enough. These two flop it up after how much of both boards they each flopped. Chop seems fair. <laughs> I've seen some blood though if they didn't. Over 10k in the middle. <laughs> because we know you have to know more. We know you have to know more than that. I know you've, been, you've been in the streets out here for over a decade. I know you've gotten no more than that. Mike, give me my straddle. The double board. Wait, y'all going literally the second? I'm ready. I'm starving. I was supposed to be able to go to dinner. I ate at 1 30. Nice. Remember this. 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 <laughs> hey, tell me if you guys are actually going to go to Market 32 and then I'll go. If you're not going, I'm not going. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Hold 4 or 6. 150 and 7. Here's my phone. I'm to open things up from the button. We're going to see him do with just about any two. And lean four is pretty close to any two. Mike defended it with the sixes. That, that, that outlet sucks? Wait, I said that? Yeah. You know, That's I just a pretty favorable turn. Of shit. Now sorry. double gutted. Tom with that pair of fours. What's the delayed C bet? Let's raise it up. Let's go 400 total. Oh, sorry. 375. We knew Mike was going nowhere. We're going to see him put in the small raise. Let's see if his hand stays best. Which it does when they hit 10 on the river. Like six is too old, he's gonna take this pot down. I had to go back out and uh, run more chips, uh, but apparently uh, Corey uh, decided uh, it's time to do a uh, dinner break. And I think he did talk Ian into joining them, so we're going to have two seats open on the live stream. But we got a list. We'll be able to fill these seats. It's just kind of funny. Playing the high stakes games, like, all right, dinner time, we're gonna step away. I mean, if it's a good dinner. I mean, I, I, I was trying to find out where they were going, but. I mean, sometimes a good dinner is a lot more important. I get it, 100%. Well, we do appreciate you guys hanging out with us, appreciate you guys watching this uh, 1025 No Limit Home Cash game with the. Uh, $50 straddle under the gun. So essentially they're playing 10, 25, 50. Are they just going to go and not tell me passwords? See? That's in the follow-up there. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, game just proceeds to get worse. You weren't kidding about this guy, huh? I'm going to be talking about it. So there's one of the players that is coming in. I think that's Grant. Who uh, played in last night's 510 game as well? So, a lot of these guys now that are starting to get to the table, with the exception of Don and Carson, 
are getting into this game now. Wow, second time tonight, Miguel has pocket kings. And you face a three bet from Noah, four bet incoming. Oh God, and he in fist bumps, he's just like, made my decision easy. I'm getting out of here. Don folds, action back on Noah now with his ace king offsuit. See Noah go pretty small. About one quarter pot, 600 into 2600. Not often you see a person four bet and then check an ace high flop. Rick seven on the turn. Miguel checking it again. Imagine Noah's going to be targeting a lot of big pocket pairs like queens and kings here. You can see him size up though. A nice chunky 2400. Maybe trying to price it out Miguel just in case Miguel has something like king, queen of diamonds. Also, like, usually I, I didn't expect it to come this fast. Usually, like, if you're the alternate, you know, you're waiting two, three hours. So. Oh, I thought you were on the like, start, start game. I was. Such a Miguel to go. No, he's a scoop in a nice pot. For spiking that ace with his ace king. And a big four bet hand. I'm going to add a couple more. up with the ace of tray of hearts this time. Nobody wanted to tango with him this time around and he's going to take it down. Got our Ryan in chat saying he's checking in from Pennsylvania. What's up Ryan? I originally came from Pennsylvania before moving down here so nice to see other people tuning in from that area. Appreciate everybody that's been tuning in and hanging out with us. Let us know where you're coming from. Like the exotic land of Pennsylvania. It's either 10, 10 or maybe a place that's actually exotic. I'm not quite sure which one. Definitely appreciate 
appreciate it. Everybody's been hanging out and watching this 10, 25, 50, no limit game. Paul Miguel opened things up from the button. Two different blinds defended. Dodd's going to get the best of it. Lock him down 6 5 Trey. Action checks around. Todd's pair of fives improved to an open and a straight draw to go along with it. He's going to throw out a little 125. Don with ace high. Going to look him up. Puts in the call. Now Todd improves. Not in the way he wanted. There was two pair. Oh. <laughs> Actually just went check check. He gets to take that one down. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'll take five. Five green? Yeah. Cool. I can fit at least that one in my pocket. I'll take every green one you got. Awesome bet. That's less chips. Are they heavy? Yeah, my bad. I'm a little tired. No, not your bad. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go get some dinner with them. Take it to play some PLO. This ain't it. Take this one to uh, fuck it, it's free, let's go. <laughs> this ain't it. This 100% ain't it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it ain't it for you. Yeah, if your thing is to try to play like the oh GTO oh, equilibrium against like a bunch of people, oh, I'm looking for the boozers, the, oh, the gamblers, man. Do you know what I mean? Think about it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I just said I'm about to leave one last hand against smoke. I'm going to be fucked. <laughs> Todd, later, brother, dog. Yeah, later, brother. Hey, Carson, Tom. peace. <laughs> That's not true predicted. We see Ian leave the table. As he does, we're going to see Noah and Todd at both flop a pair. Action killing turn when a fourth heart comes out. And yeah, we're seeing it. Noah take it down with this pair of jacks. I won't, but I never try a sushi burger. They don't have, it's not sushi, but Maryland has the best blue crab. And they like, they just give it to you in a whole crab with a shell, and you have to like, crack a lot of shell. It's similar to a lobster, but so it's much, much tastier. It depends which carrot you get, but you wear it. Fresh to the table is Grant. They're in the one seat with the Maryland shirt on. He wakes up with Queens. That's a nice welcome gift. And the flop comes down Queen 5-5. Five five. Yeah. Todd checks. Grant put up a small bet. He gets nothing. So Todd would let go King High. Yeah, it's 
Mike's going to open it up first back with the ace 10. Gail's going to call with the ace 7 suited. Todd happy to come along from the button, the queen 8. Could be just those three. Like, to a flop. News are of a flop when it comes down six for Trey Rainbow. The checks. Now we're gonna see a jack on the turn. So let's put a second diamond on board. So Miguel, not flush draw. Looks like he's gonna start betting. When he does. Both players quickly fold. Miguel got to drag another pot. Nobody wanted to tango theirs. Nobody had any had any hands really worth playing anyway. So we can kind of hear the buzz in the background. The night flight of the 100k guarantee opening event for the run goes filling over, getting close to the live stream now. Over 100 entries in tonight's flight. Match is going to keep on climbing. Probably flirt with about 150 being the total this evening. Imagine. The noise in the background is going to keep on increasing as the buzz is in the air. Perfect timing. Get in here. You didn't just like shovel in, blind after that? Directly to them. He's playing. I'm going to take the seat. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. What was his name? John? John C. I just saw him like a minute ago. Finally playing and it's not super late. John, you in the same? Uh, no, I gotta get some chips. I make mine. I know, you're gonna fuck with me. You John, how can I guess that you don't want that? You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want You don't want You don't want You don't Alright, we're at the... Todd and Mike went off heads up to an action flop, 10, 10, 9, 2 hearts. Mike sitting here with high flush roll of Todd with trip 10s. Art does come on the turn. I'm sure you're better now, I guess part of it. Question whether, whether Mike wants to check raise. Yeah. Smooth yeah. call here. Yeah. Like he's just going to call. <laughs> One of those people, like, winning why they're so fucking horrible. Now River Queen. Todd actually improves to the bad end of a straight. No, he's got a lot better. Okay. So like with that river card, we're gonna see Mike possibly lead out here. Yes. Yeah. He, he doesn't have he doesn't have a kid and he hasn't been very yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that odd snap call with his straight. Sees that it could maybe could have ended worse. Feels a very clean you know, brick deuce on the river, for example. Todd going nowhere with the trip tens. May have ended up losing the minimum on that run out. What are your both of your nationalities? Irish? Oh, you said that? Yeah, What's yours? You're brave. I would have thought. I'm not sure 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 I'm not
It's not that I saw you look at it. I thought it was I heard. After Don defended third blind, he actually outflops Grant, but Grant is going to outturn Don, turning top pair, top kicker. Grant did originally open things from the button. Don defended the $50 big blind. Don lead out on this turn. Grant raising it up now. Decides to go with 600. Don trying to figure out what this raise means. Always a chance we could see Grant doing this. Turning equity in the current with flush draw, for example. Don hoping to pick off one of those bluffs, puts in the call, and now sticks some clubs. My player's Carter ID. On the river. My real one or the fake ones that I use? Uh, well, how, how good of a job did you do on your fake one? There you go. <laughs> Don shifted really over. <laughs> Grant happy to just check it back with his nine. Takes his spot down. Would you care for the big line, John? Sure. And can I ask you for a favor from me? Can I get you to stand on that back truck? They gotta take a photo of you. I'll still deal with you. Clothes on or off? Uh, that's up to you. Wow. <laughs> Am I pressing the table or? Making them throw up. What do you want? Uh, one of them will probably get you kicked out, the other one will not. So I'll, I'll let you gamble on the choice. <laughs> oh, I'm getting crazy. Oh. I had no idea this game was going on tonight, so I'm a little short uh, stack, so I'm going to short play general, very, so very five. safe. What, 15 to 7? <laughs> All day, man. 150 to go. Fold in one, fold in two, three. Call in the four. Well, you see Don put in a three bet. Where he woke up with pocket aces in the straddle. Todd puts in a big four bet. 1,700. Todd originally opened under the, under the gun. He's trying to represent a very strong hand here. Ooh, it could be an opportunity for Don to get unstuck. Good spot for him to maybe just put in the flat call. Not often that you want to do it. Wow, and said Don, see just Don just rip. Does go all in. Remember me ordering Todd chilies? has a real hand like I'm he's over, representing. I'm over here now. I got caught speeding in the tournament. Did you caught speeding that last thing you played, or was it like a few hands before? But it knocked me down to like 2,000 chips. Todd is going to let it go. Definitely a big. $3,000 raise, free flop. Big amount of chips going Don's way, putting a huge dent, getting unstuck. Yeah, in fact, we'll do a stat check here shortly as soon as his hand closes out. I had to go with the flop was 8, 9, 10. Brad, not sure if the question was answered or not, but it's uh, 2,500 men, no max for our 10 25 game. Also, the deacon of Jack Nine himself, Tori, in the Facebook chat with us. Tori, good to see you. The uh, the guy who raised pre flop had six seven off. He was just trying to steal. So we'll show the VPIS first. Uh, John C, our new player to the table. So no official stats on him yet. Well, it looks like a. Uh, 
Tom's ready for this next double board bomb pot. You're like, well, I can rebuy? I'll, I'll play a little. Yeah, absolutely. A little, a little dumber. Yeah. A little more stupider. <laughs> and just waiting for the hand to close out here, and then we'll show uh, the official earnings of who's up and who's down. Show me your hand, I'll do it. Thank you, I appreciate that. There you go. There's a look at it. Yeah, Don still stuck a bit, but he's climbing out of the hole. Noah's still up the most right now. Jack Queen 7 on the top. 10, 4, 9 on the bottom. Yeah, John has a pair of tens on the bottom board, a pair of sevens on the top. Todd has a lot of equity. Noah has a set of queens on the top board. Notice John's avatar picture that was taken. That's pretty good. All right, we are at the river now. Six of diamonds on the top, deuce of hearts on the bottom. So it's like Todd and Noah are going to be the ones chopping this up. Todd betting 2,000. I don't think Noah's going to be going anywhere. He's got the top board. Pretty secure with the uh, tops set with the queens. And he's going to make the call. John also going to put in the call as well. So John donating a little bit more to Todd and Noah. Yeah, John two pair on both boards, but it's not going to be any good. Chips. Alright, so we are back to hold them now. After the uh, double board PLO bomb pod that we've been doing in this game with uh, every dealer change. Ace, nine, queen, two diamonds. So Don does hit a nine. It's at 100 and, uh, I think we're close to 120 entries now in flight number four of our 121 now. 121. Nice. Keep climbing. And we, I don't think we've yet to hit the first break either. I mean, we're getting close to it now. But 121 entries before the first break? Yeah, about 10 minutes till first break. Yeah. It's not too shabby. She's 
So I'm feeling by the time the night is over or when registration does end for flight number four, I think there's going to be like 150K in the prize pool with still two final flights to go tomorrow. Todd takes that one down. Yeah, again, uh, event number one, kicking things off with the Run Good Poker Series, making its return to Best Bet Jacksonville. Destination Run Good. So we're heads up here, 8, 10, 8. What's that? I did see the buck. We saw it together. You and I. Grant with two pair of 10s and 8s. Yeah, we saw it together. Fade the heart, he fills up on the turn. <laughs> I was closer, so I saw him uh, fraction. <laughs> yeah, Grant now with the boat, eights full tens. But even then, there's still a few cards that could counterfeit him here. <laughs> That is one of them. Mike now with the ace gets the better of it. Got to reroute his plan from bluffing on this river to value betting. And that is pretty much a value bet. 25% of the pot. Good size. We got the max. Are you good at bottom? I can, for my size, yeah. I mean, you want to straddle that? You touch the top of that? Alright, so, admittedly, this hand's going to be a little wonky. Uh, the stats end up being correct, though, afterwards. Uh, user error on the. Uh, Action tracker part here. By user so, error, I mean I mean me. The wrong wrong uh wrong math right answer situation. Basically, yeah. Well, wrong order, right math. That's fine. Because uh, Noah straddled back in after missing his blind, <coughs> and I was trying to get that information put in correctly, uh, but I ended up uh, by doing that accidentally messing up the order. Uh, but we're going to end up being heads up here on the flop. Uh, with Todd and uh, Mike. Mike is the one that actually puts in the bet of 150 and Todd calls it. As long as we get there in the end. Yes. But it's funny, that's how it ends up getting to that point. Yeah. Include seven. Mike fires out the bet here with uh, flop of two pair. Mike's going to scoop it up. So yeah, the number still works out right. And then after this hand, uh, yeah. they did get things fixed to where uh, the order should still be correct. Uh, Tori, uh, George has not been on a live stream in a long time. He's been playing a lot more 2-5 in the room. He hasn't really done a lot of super high stakes games uh, lately. He's been very comfortable in the 2-5 streets. And uh, John O, if he's here, he's probably firing into the tournament. I 
do know John and them were here last night, though, as uh, we had our 5-10 game going on the live stream. But uh, uh, inside, uh, in the main room, table one, uh, John and them were playing a 10-25 game upstairs. So Miguel, two pair, ace, queen. Don has a gutter and a pair of jacks. Miguel is going to be taking this one down. A eventful night here in the room. And Friday night, best bet Jacksonville with uh, tournaments happening as well with the Run Good Poker Series. It'll be a busy couple weeks here in the room. Definitely looking forward to it. All right, so here we are. Heads up, King Five versus King Eight. And uh, John here going to go ahead and hit an eight on this flop. I can't get over John's photo. It's fantastic. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, whoever took John's photo. Uh, I have an idea who, who it was, but that's uh, that's peak right there, as the kids would like to call it. Mike puts in the raise to 150 with pocket sevens. I'm going to go ahead and put in a call here for Jack 10. And oh boy, Don, pair of jacks, Mike flops the set. Oh boy, it's not a good night for Don. And Mike bets 100, and Don going to go ahead and put in the raise here to 300. Music to Mike's ears. Just going to call. Yep, no reason to re-raise it. King on the turn. Now, that's a little bit of a scary card. It's a king, and it does complete hearts. Dawn is going to put in a bet here. 700. Maybe trying to potentially rep hearts. I can't imagine Mike's going to pull the set though. No, he's not. Not going anywhere. Ooh, fourth heart. Don wants to go for it. Mike 
just work if he does. Yeah, it's definitely brutal obviously the king of hearts. Mike. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Mike. So that's just a brutal run out for Mike. I mean, yeah. That's what nightmares are made of. Don't want to check it. Actually, didn't want to take a stab at it. Yeah, no, no choice for Mike. I mean, the fourth heart out there. Mike is going to take that one down. I think John just asked Don if he plays real volleyball or beach volleyball. <laughs> That's funny. Play real golf or mini golf? Play disc golf. Grant put in the raise to 125, 10, 7 student. Mike calls. John calls as well. We got four players. Wow, sevens are running hot right now. It's all heart and board, though. I think it checked around. Queen on the turn. Yeah, Broadway. Yeah. John face 10. Straight. Hit Broadway. John, who's uh, also quite a character. I want someone with the seven of hearts hanging around. Noah Carson uh, knows him. I think he's a known player in the room, too. Does he play over at Orange Park uh, a lot, Mike? I don't think so. Hmm. I think I've seen him on our stream a couple of times. I do know he said uh, before he got to the live stream table, he was uh, uh, firing into the tournament, and when he, his name got called, he uh, purposely busted himself out so he could play on the live stream. <laughs> Man, if you keep making hands, yeah, it will be a profitable strategy. See him open it up. Right, it's down at an ace. The third line, but he has to defend. Okay, call four. Oh, it's in the Steve at Grant. She's going to call. Again, Grant just sitting here at high. Check, check, and Grant's ace high is going to be good. You 
Füße. Dann gut. Quiet, frustrating night for Todd. Got picked off quite a few times, getting looked up light. I'll say that last hand wasn't a big pot per Carson se. Still but that Thursday heads up thing? No. How things have been going? Where would you play it online? Poker Bros or something? Yeah. I think something like that, and I would just like I think I would go over to his house, uh, and then we'd square up. I'd want to make sure we have an escrow just so we can screw each other. Like um, there's people that we both mutually respect that we escrow for. Got some heads up for rolls going on? Eh, not really for rolls, but uh, but heads up for yeah. Heads up for dollars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work from home, and every time I get on the website and see on Thursday there's a 5 10 game going at noon at Orange Park, I get excited. Twice I've taken the bait, twice I show up at their heads up game. I'm like, oh my god, really? Yeah. Oh, I should have another one. Maybe call. On Thursday. Maybe call. Got before I drive for 40 minutes. <laughs> Hey, you guys playing cards? You want a third? <laughs> <laughs> Players talking about some recent heads up matches between Carson and Ian, who was in the fourth seat on the table before he left for dinner. Two of them were organizing some heads up matches last few weeks. Oh, right. hands a half hour. Heads up, heads up. You know, we, the first time we played, we played like for seven and a half hours. And Ian we, we, uh, like we played for, like we had like at least like six or seven hundred hands. Like, no way. I was like, I thought we probably played like five. Maybe 200 or 250. But yeah. Just live for yeah, out there, like I get out probably around 23 to 24, if I'm not say. Wow, well, this hand. I see John Flop middle set. King eight seven. Todd with just six high in the betting lead. I see him fire the C bet. Got some backdoor diamonds, backdoor straight draws. For now, John, just smooth calling. Tray of spades on the turn. Todd's gonna keep firing. Days with about a half pot size, betting 600. John just debating on whether he wants to check raise or continue. Raise it is. Thought he might continue to let Todd keep his foot on the gas if he's bluffing with his air. Obviously, a pretty dicey board, two clubs, and a lot of straight draws available. Obviously, John out of position. You put in a flat call there. Possibly check the river. Missed out on some equity. Looks to go check raise and try to get the chips in there. Fortunately for him, Todd just was six high. Not going to commit any more to the pot. That night we all played in San Augustine a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> where, where you beat him out of a big hand, he was pissed off for like an hour. Yeah. That's the first time I ever played with him. Oh, really? He was, that was a PLO hand, right? I don't remember. He was fucking. He was. He was steaming for like an hour. 
Because I've been in like in two big hands in PLO when it's gonna impact it seems like, man, you gotta play me. It was you and Ian and me and Asia, Kyle, uh, Hoodie Kyle. Yeah, yeah. And uh, John Ray looks pretty bad. Some other people, I forget. Those are the things I remember from the late game. It was my friend who was on my left for a little bit. It was a fun game. It's still the best 5 10 game around in my opinion. San Augustine. Get some bulls and some big stand, I think. Yeah. 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 You get some sweet players. Yeah. It's just inconsistent. I just, that's the issue with it. I, play, I have played there before and I sit down, I'm looking around going, who am I going to beat at this table? Yeah. How am I going to deal with this tonight? <laughs> The mix like PLO or them or two three four five? I don't think I ever got the two three four five game. <coughs> I don't think so. Three. That's, 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 that's not three. It, it really is. I played for the first time. Carson taught me to like. Well, you told me there was awesome. Yeah, you might have been the six seed or five seed. Dev and Scott were in the game. One fifty seed, one fifty four seed. Hold on. Turn 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 You have queen, queen, jack with like two diamonds, and two diamonds come on the flop. Yeah, you, no you keep the pair of queens, you yeah. keep the queen, jack, and diamond. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's me a to me what I like about you guys, you just keep trying. <laughs> the worst is when you, you play. Don't give up. <laughs> when you play two five. You're a bunch of good triers. <laughs> hey Don, you're a uh, 30 foot foot. Do you like? Do you like double board hold'em? Those are awful. I want to shoot yeah. myself in the head. <laughs> the <horror. laughs> just more, just more single Let's board. walk back in and John try to talk Don into the PLO, PLO double board bomb pots. That's hilarious. That's the way things look, though. As we are two hours officially in the live stream, there's the VPIP look. And then once the hand closes out, we'll show the uh, earnings as far as who is up and who's down. Uh, by the way, the players are returning from their first break in flight number four of the... First event of our Run Good Poker Series, 100K guarantee, $400 buy-in tournament, and uh, 133 entries now in that flight. <coughs> and there's a quick look at the earnings. Noah still having a great night. Mike's up a bit too. Carson's up a little bit. Don and Todd right now the most stuck at the table. So the two out-of-towners are crushing it.
Here is Todd Flops, top two pair down low. Straight draw up top. This leads out to 250. You see, John has a set of tens up top. That's a grant called as well. right now. Size bomb pot. <coughs> a pretty, pretty smooth sailing so far at this table has John. Also, again, yeah, busy night in a room. Of course, it is Friday night, best bet Jacksonville. So, a ton of different cash games we got going on. Of course, uh, the tournaments with flight three and four going on. We also had a satellite. That was a uh, package guarantee. I believe we gave uh, seven packages away in that satellite, and the bubble uh, was 165 payout. So it's been a very busy night in the room, for sure. And it's a big variety of games we got running in the room tonight, too. You know, look at this, back to the action. Noah puts in the three bet to 600 with his ace-king suited. And John, pocket eights. Gonna have to let it go. Noah's gonna take this one down. We had games ranging from 2-2 no limit hold'em and 2-5 no limit hold'em. We also are opening up a 5-10 no limit hold'em game going as we speak. A couple 2-4 tables. Also a stud table. A couple big O games. Six PLO. Games going right now. Three one two PLOs and three five five PLOs, and of course the uh, ten twenty five that we were watching here on the live stream tonight. So it's a very busy Friday night here at Best Bet Jacksonville. Like four last night. Yeah, yeah. The high stack was like four thirty. Yeah. Sorry, you might. Oh, you all good. Grant <laughs> down. Let me go and heads up to this flop. King of four tray, two hearts. Jack High, Jack High, eight high, <laughs> huge hands. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Traditional poker at its first. finest. Grant's gonna be the one to take it down. Oh, they go to the turn. I guess I want to check, check, and then Grant bet, and then Don folded. Grant did turn a gut shot straight for also. Yeah, fired at it, stole it away. You know, it's, it's been kind of an interesting game tonight. It has not had any short of, of, of action. I mean, we've seen a lot of three bets, uh, pre, you know, pre-flop, some four bets here and there and everything. But it's kind of interesting the disparity as, uh, as far as who's been the active players and who hasn't been active. 
Nothing wrong with the backup option. That's a pretty damn good backup. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty on par with what you'll see in a bigger stakes game. Mm -hmm. A lot more of the action is pre-flop. Somewhat continuing onto the flop. Not as much showdown heavy, river heavy action. Mm -hmm. Carson gonna get involved here. Puts in the raise. King to ten. Pretty quiet tonight. Yeah. Working there, you get a to get the mix, that's for sure. Not usually on the quieter side in terms of action. Right. Played that course like four times before. Now Don with A6 seated. Facing the 3 bet of 575 from Carson. Don't put in the call. <coughs> Todd, yeah, I think he's just going to fire in anyway. He's getting too good of a price. Get the pin. Drop straight down. Two inches. Jack, 6 8. Todd does hit the jack on the flop. Got about a pot size bet behind. Two pain to stack, each in the middle. And he is going to go all in. I wouldn't say it's more of the best all in all, but definitely one of the worst. Carson, uh, just double checking to see if Todd had any chips behind. He said he does not. Carson does let it go. Don asked him for a count. Yeah. Todd all in for, a little, let's say, a little over 2K. Is what Todd is all in with. <laughs> Todd and Don, bonding moment, we'll say. And Don lets it go, and Todd's going to take it down. I should have clicked the uh, photo uh, option on that <laughs> screenshot. That would have been a perfect YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> Todd does scoop that one up. Again, just a reminder for some of the things coming up on the live stream. We have a 2-2 deep stack live stream we'll have tomorrow. Starting at 4.15, and then on Sunday night, final table action for um, event number one. I don't remember. Curious to see what the prize pool is going to end up being. Because like I said, with the flights and how they went today, we may would have probably made that 100K guarantee just off of today. And we still got tomorrow's flights to go, too. So might be a good chance that we uh, end up doubling the guarantee on the prize pool. Immaculate. <laughs> you know what your cost to play there now? Eight hundred. Eight eighty. Yeah, that's insane. Eight eighty. The course better be good shape. Yeah. You can always find a fifty percent off coupon online. Still four forty. Still a lot of money for golf. I play it once a year now that I live here. That's yeah. enough. <laughs> no. Put in the call. I gamble on just about everything, but I don't pay attention enough. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> Carson flopping two pair. Miguel top pair with a mediocre kicker at best. Good time. Drawing dead to a chop. They had a, con they had a concert there Tuesday night, Cole Swindell, okay. on the 17th grade. And my wife and uh, our neighbor went to the concert. She's like, well, this is a beautiful golf course. Pretty hefty on the turn. Played <laughs> over bet. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Miguel is going to let it go. Carson getting involved now.
Also, again, appreciate you guys coming through and hanging out with us. If you like what you're watching, like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, hit that bell notification for when we go live. That way you don't miss any of the action that we have here on Best Bet Live, especially with all the tournaments we got coming up with final tables, feature to final tables for some of the select tournaments. And of course, uh, headlined by our main event, 300K guarantee, $1,200 buy-in. There's three day ones we're going to have. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then, of course, Sunday being the final day. And we'll have final table action as well for that main event. And just like that, the Run Good series will be uh, here and then gone. All right, pocket Trays versus Ace Jack Suited. Two clubs, Ace 10 8. John hits it and Ace on his flop. John's going to go ahead and, or excuse me. Yeah, John checks it to Noah. <laughs> Noah bets John's gonna put in the call. Now third club comes out. Let's <laughs> go check, check. Let's see what the card is in just a minute. Nine of diamonds on the river. So that's gonna be the straight for John. Noah's trying to rep it. Yeah. Great. Rare misstep for Noah tonight. We haven't seen any of those. Yeah. Noah's had definitely a fantastic... Made, definitely made sense to go for it there, though. Yeah. And Noah's had a great night, too, so far. Definitely uh, been the one that's up the most right now is Noah. Imagine John's doing pretty good himself. It? Had a nice. pretty smooth ride since he got to the table. You know, John kind of got stuck a little bit at first or anything, but he's definitely worked his way back out of it, and he's uh, up a little bit now. So, yeah, John's done fairly well. Now he's kind of settled in and gotten a feel for the table. Got to scoop the only bomb pot he's played so far. That always helps. Yeah, <laughs> especially since the bomb pots are the, uh, now that we're doing on the live stream, the double board PLO bomb pots. Mike Mike's been getting action with his kings here. Everybody lets it go. Mike drags it in. on the mic, directing flight number four. All right, so Carson raised it to 125 and now uh, raised the 375 three bet from Grant. So I think we're heads up. Carson with Grant and Carson. Yeah. I'm waiting to see if Carson wants a four bet or call. It, it looks like called. he just put in the call. Yep, so we are going to be heads up. Trey Queen 8. So Grant with Ace King offsuit. Carson's 10s are in the lead. It's a pretty good flop for 10s. Grant has 225. Goes about a quarter pot. Pretty normal so far. So Carson dipping on the call. We are at the turn. Carson has checked it over on. Now two pair, queens and tens. 
for Carson. Good card to see if you're Carson. Really reduces the amount of queens that Grant can have. Yep. I'm sure we'll see Grant, but again, he would, con he would continue with all of his aces, his kings, and anything containing a queen. That was about 400 here. size bet, which is what he'll be betting for value with some of the real hands he could have. And Carson hits a 10 on the river to boat up. 10's full of queens. Gonna go check, check, and grant, yeah. A little bit of a, ah, uh, really? Grant's got a little triggered on that. Looks like he's gonna be adding on, too. Does. I think he threw in uh, a couple pumpkins. I mean, listen, the way this table is, you do not want to be short stack on this table. Definitely not. The action go check check on that river, I believe. Carson checked it over praying. See Grant fire a big bet. Sevens from the button. Sevens have been uh, one of those hands that's been uh, able to connect in some way, shape, or form. Might have to. We're going to see. Todd assembling the four bet. Ace queen out of the small blinds. Cold four ball incoming. Pretty big here. Get the job done, just taking it down free flop. Fair enough, we didn't see Don just let it go. I have ace. I did not. I'm not allowed to. I saw the next few words. You have ace? Yeah, I got that my buddy Sam would play five ten minutes. You have ace? I have ace sweet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Not really, because I had ace five. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, if you pull it on stream. You can tell my buck is a red now. I should look back. That's sad. How are you going to build your reputation? Yeah. Gels open is going to get all the respect. They let him just take it down. Uncontested. Do 
doing trees. Trees and trees. It did go forward in the three. I think it's the last thing. Oh, four. Three ways we're going to go to a ten seven six rainbow flop. Don does flop a gut shot, but Lex not to see bet. Check. Check. continuing to check through on the turn. You see how quickly it was, it was, it was before Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Fain strength fold. We're gonna see Miguel drag another one uncontested. Stop it. <laughs> Good deal. I'm well aware that you can do that. Yeah, push up. I think right push up. And I'll get on my knees and pray for a good hand. So, yeah. There's like 24 here. <laughs> oh, but now I cannot first struggle on a small line. Uh, so safe. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, six. Uh, better, dude, but I'm getting open things up. Tens. Carson, I don't know. Carson, I don't know. Carson, I don't know. Carson, I don't know. Carson, I don't Price of 400. John going nowhere. Puts him to call it King Queen. Now with the third player involved. You see Todd, it's just flat. Right, Go set mining, possibly. A little bit of under rep the strength of his hand. Seven queen ace. Everybody's got one pair. Yeah. <laughs> John will go ahead and bet 1200 with his pair of queens. After Carson put in the initial bet, John 3X'd it. Put on the call. So this pot's uh, starting to balloon up a little bit. King would be a doozy. It would be. Said so we get everyone's favorite yeah. card, the Deuce of Hearts. Does not help anybody here. Carson's gonna bet 100 or 800, excuse me. John not going anywhere. Gonna put in the call. 
He's a non-believer. Five of on the river does complete clubs. <laughs> John's gonna go for it. Wow, good to see. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. That's two thousand. It's an interesting number too. He's going two K there. <laughs> and there's that confused look of Carson's. And gets it through. John. Show the bluff one time. Ah, <laughs> oh, it doesn't show. We'll see it later. He says you'll see it later. It's true, but yeah, John got the bluff through. I watched this online last week. I saw how he plays, so I just put money in the pot. <laughs> it works for him. It worked for about 21 years. <laughs> The reason sometimes why it is called best bet. It's fun to watch. Good luck that you were playing conservative today in the nine. I have to. There's all the money I have left. I always bring seven K, and I plan on play, I plan on playing five ten. Two K. I don't know. You may not want to leave, John. You got ten K in front of me now. Spend more crypto. I'm done tonight after this. You know what? I got about four, 1400 bucks in my crypto account, so I'm Venmo. <laughs> 764 flop. Todd open ended. Queen on the turn. Does give Carson now. Top pair, top kicker. So, that was 400 and then a call. The river is a five, so a four-liner comes out. <coughs> there is a little more in the pot. How you make it? Yeah, there's a little more in the pot. Add about 800 to the pot right now. Carson is going to take that down. So add, uh, like I said, add about 800 to that, and that's where Carson's taking that. Five grand was up 500, and I just kind of forgot about it. I looked it up like six weeks ago, and it was up like 14,000 bucks. And I was like, oh, I got to just take my money because this is garbage. It took me three days to open an account just so I could. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the beat pips by, by first. That, three days. On Don. On Friday, I opened all of 27 grand. That night, Grant, Miguel, John, and Mike on the 20s. Like Noah 35. above 20 as well. Carson, 14% pip. Two days later, back to like six grand. They had some news coming out of something. See a coin? So we'll show the uh, earnings as soon as this hand does close out. I got it on Friday for 27. Bob, Bob? Bob? No, I got totally. Bob, 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 Bob Pot getting ready to happen uh, here. Lucky Lotto Crypto. <laughs> I'm no crypto expert, I can tell you that. <laughs> Nobody is. Yeah. It's just Fact. a crapshoot. In fact, like people will say they are a fucking crapshoot. But it's fun. I'm like, I'm like gambling on, like, it's like compounding gambling. I did mining. Don like stuck five almost five k. So, you know? Todd stuck almost eight. Did you mining? Yeah. Noah, three. Mike, and John, your big winners you right now. I mean, like, had about eight hundred to Carson's uh, earnings too. He's up a little bit. Trey Queen Jack on the top, a pair of kings and a seven on the bottom. So anyone with a king in their hand, they got a pretty good uh, hold on the bo on the bottom board. Todd has trips on the top board. Oh my gosh, Noah has quads I, on the bottom. My nerd buddy caught me into doing it. Yeah, <laughs> open ended straight draw <laughs> on the top. top. <laughs> uh, I like Noah's hand. Noah's hand's pretty good. You convinced me. It's going to zero. It went, it went all the way back down. So. Yeah, SI. So Jack pairs the board on the top, nine on the bottom. 
Now Todd one, boats up, one, trades for the Jacks. You're right, it was at two sets, and it crashed down to... So, we're headed off to a shop. Like yeah. Barring a Jack on the river. It's oh. one set. I think it's the only way Noah gets to That's true. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to chop this up. I can afford a few. Why not? All right, let's... How do I fucking It's actually a neat coin. It's used for storage. Does anyone Todd checks it over to Noah. You store it for a little bit, then you got Noah did improve to a flush, so you made that. You can store data on their blockchain. Oh, okay. What value here? Most data apps charge like 20 bucks a month. It's like a buck a month. <laughs> they do inevitably chop this one up. Hey, you're Don Watt. As soon as Noah flips over his quads on that bottom board. All right, well, I need to get a more sketchy. Uh, I need to get a more sketchy wallet to buy it because Coinbase won't let me buy any. So. <laughs> it trades on Kraken and Binance. Binance. Okay, I'll Binance, is the, <laughs> Binance is the OG. That is a little concerning. That Coinbase is like, let's chill out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, chill out. All right, don't don't buy this shit. <laughs> so like, it took me a day and a half to find my wallet, and I had to enter this, these codes, I was like freaking out, I'm like, I think it's worth a lot of money now, I can't get out. <coughs> you got out at a good time. The rare crypto, I got out before it went down successfully. Hold up, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what Noah opened with, but we do see Mike put in a three bet with the ace queen. And that's going to be good enough. I was trying to bluff it. Yeah. Noah does let it go. Do appreciate almost 100 of you watching on the uh, YouTube channel. It's a 10:25 game. Again, if you guys like what you're seeing, like what you're watching, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell notification for when we do go live. And again, you definitely want to be following the channel because of all the run good action that we got coming up. I'm not kidding. I was about to raise. Well, there you go. Look at that. Sorry. 500 seats. Oh, Todd, pocket queens. Three bets at the 500. John not going anywhere. 10 8 suited. Suited connector. Pretty live hand still. And does get to play the hand in position. Yeah. That's not a good flop for you, though. Which one is you in this scenario? Because. <laughs> could you be saying that about either one of these guys. Right. John is the one that's going to take it down, though. Betts and Todd Folds. Not a great day at the office for Todd. No. But, I mean, I guess when you look at Todd's play style and <coughs> how he, I got you, Carson. you know, likes to dictate the action and you're going to have times like that where it's not going to go well for you, but when it goes well for you, it goes well for you. Yeah. He's a, he leans into the variance, doesn't shy away from it. All right. Well, if you Don know over time, it's going to work for you. Might as well. Right. Yeah, pocket fours versus ace nine, and Todd does hit a nine on this flop. Now two pair for Todd. Don bets 300, and Todd min clicks it back. Todd does announce fold. Also, guys, uh, as far as promotions go, our next big promotion we got coming up is going to be at the end of the month on Friday the 29th. The 24K day makes its return to Best Bet Jacksonville starting right at 10 a.m. $500 high hands first 30 minutes, $1,000 high hands last 30 minutes every hour from 10 a.m. until 2 a.m. 
And that's going to be taking place on Friday, March 29th. As always, guys, you can check out our website, bestbetjacks.com, for all the details when it comes to promotions, tournaments, live stream schedule, and much more. It's all there on the website. Todd's starting to connect on some hands. He's a pair of tens here. Back to back pots going Todd's way. And I think, uh, Mike, you guys just had your 10K day uh, this past Saturday, right? Yeah, was, uh, that was last weekend, Saturday the 9th. There's one thing that I know a lot of people say about our rooms that uh, some, some of the promotions we do run are some of the best in the country. I'm sure that 24K day will be no different on uh, the 29th. I actually did believe you because there's a ridiculous spot to do the super. I know when I first moved here, I was astounded by the amount of giveaways, especially like the satellite promos and things going on over at Jacksonville. Oh yeah, around the Trumpet series. No, I've joked before. Be I've joked before saying we're the Oprah Winfrey of satellites. <laughs> you get a satellite ticket. You get a satellite ticket. <laughs> Walk in the door, get a satellite ticket. I once looked under my chair and found one. <laughs> Chris asking, where's Gus and Hunter been? So Hunter actually moved. Hunter now lives in Texas. Uh, Gus, I don't know who Gus is, unless maybe you met Russ. Uh, Russ hasn't been in the room much either. Russ travels around quite a bit with his uh, business endeavors. Uh, but that's uh, that answers your questions. Meanwhile, Grant here, a pair of queens on the flop that he got. I love playing. I'd rather play golf than play poker. But I'd rather play trips now for Grant. If I can play, I'll skip over all the other plays. Yeah. But to watch it, and like if the Masters is on TV, then yeah, I'll really skip over. It's really hard for me to watch poker. I have to overbet no, show. I mean, I do, I, play I, poker, not watch it. Yeah, but you're saying like you'd rather wow, play yeah. golf go all in. poker, but you'd rather watch poker than watch golf. No, 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 no. I'd rather so watch golf trying to than make watch it poker. look like... He has a missed I'd rather play poker sometimes. than watch golf. Oh, but I'd rather play golf than play poker. Uh, Confused, Ed? Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. yeah, Todd yeah. trying to <coughs> crunch the numbers in his head. Also trying to figure out okay. what Grant like, could be doing this oh, with. Crazy hand, that's about it. Oh, no, yeah. What was the chance Grant has, like, ace five of spades? He's not ace high. So Todd says that. Just have ace high. For anybody that hasn't watched him before, Todd is not much for thinking very long. No, he's not. He's very snappy. He does announce fold. I saw him pick up chips and almost flick them into the call. He too. almost he really, did. Really almost did it. Stopped himself at the last second somehow. Yeah. But as you yeah, said, Todd, like... Not a posture. No. Sure. No. I, that was very yeah. That was very much indecisiveness from Todd, because as, as you just said, he's very much a quick, you know, quick as far as his action goes. Does not tank. Does not take a long time to think about things. Usually relies on his instinct. A firm believer in think long, think wrong. He plays fast, man. He wants the game to move. He wants the game to be fast. Wants the game to be quick. He's not a fan of uh, stalling. Seven five queen, two spades. John with a queen. Let's go check check. Now a diamond draw out there too. So diamond draw and the spade draw. John's on bet 250 and Todd's going to let it go. As you mentioned, yeah, it's been a tough night for Todd tonight.
Let's see if Todd can get something going here. Ace Queen of Hearts gets to open it up. Mike with the 9 7 of Hearts in front of the call. 5 4 6 2 clubs. Open it for Mike. Yeah. 10 on the turn. The second heart out there. Third heart would be a disaster for Mike, even though that's probably what he's rooting for. And he's going to put in the uh, raise, the 400, and Todd calls it immediately. Queen of Diamonds on the river. Oh, the best hand. Mike's sitting here with just nine high. Decides not to rep a straight after check raising the turn. Just going to let it go. There. Heart would have been pretty rough on the river. Be Todd opens up under the gun with the King Jack. Carson going to three bet it with Ace Jack. Everybody else clears out. Just be these two heads up. Three bet pot. Jack Queen nine. Jack. Wow. All spades. Yeah, all spades and Todd and Carson both getting a piece of it. Now nine pairs the board, so and a fourth spade comes out. Carson's ace is gonna play. Let's go check check. Yeah, earlier today, flight number three of event number one of the Run Good Poker Series. Saw 145 entries in that flight. So 15 players will advance. And last time I checked, saw 143 entries in flight number four. I'm sure that's improved a bit more. Mike. Make the joke, there's 145 right now. Is there? Okay, so there's been a couple more entries. So, yeah, 145 in this flight right now, too. With still an hour and 20 minutes left in registration. All right, here we go. Four players. Five, queen, eight. We got top pair for John. Mike with a straight and flush draw. Miguel yeah, holding two of those sevens that Mike's looking for, though. Yep. Seven would be a spicy card. Four on the turn. See, Mike still has quite a few outs here. Any seven, any diamond. Go put in the call. Not going away yet. He says way too many outs, and just like that, boom. Does pair the board. Mike does complete his flush. John checks it over to him rather than leading out. Go half pot. That's 600. Mike calls it. Or excuse me, uh, John called it. Mike's going to take down a pretty good pot there.
Did kind of tease it a little earlier in the live stream, but uh, the April live stream schedule will be released shortly online. I have some unique additions to the live stream. I mentioned earlier, uh, we're going to do some 1 3 no limit hold'em on the live stream with the Double Board Bomb Pots, which is a game that we feature at our St. Augustine location. Also, Another St. Augustine feature game is a 1K mix that we're going to do, which is going to be 1-5 no limit or 2-5 no limit hold'em and 1-2 PLO. And then a game that is played over at Orange Park that I'm sure Mike Kruger will want to be a part of, a 5-10 no limit hold'em where you have a dealer button and then another button that's in the reverse that ends up uh, creating some double board bomb pot opportunities. Is that right, Mike? Yeah, it'll move back one spot so that way it rotates who is the button every time that hand is played. <laughs> so Todd, two pair, Queen Jack. Four diamonds on board killed all the action. Yeah, very much so. Nobody wanted to act on that board. Now Carson is waking up with Ace King and still putting a four bet. It was more about like the money coming off the table in a different way. So like me, you know, I lose the game and not me throwing you the hundred is the yeah. Hold four bet. How the big line from Carson. So the do seven is also I kind of agree with you. I don't really love how the do seven is this makes it interesting. It makes it interesting, but I'm gonna let go of this pair. Stand up is much much more fun. Yeah, Old four bet out of lines does look strong. See what Miguel wants to do. The stand up game might not really go from one pot to another. I know, I mean, hey, uh, that's what we were saying, you know what I mean? <coughs> it does seem silly, right? Really. Like, who, are we, who are we crushing with? Or if it's a $100 stand up game, just make sure everybody has 800 bucks in their pocket, then. I don't know. It's alright. Whatever. It's not, we're, we've had no action here. I haven't seen a single pot over a thousand yet, so we desperately need it. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just Carson smashing this flop that came down ace high. But now, small continuation bet. No, yeah, fill me in. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. Of course, we drag that one. every time that you win a hand, you get another button. And whoever loses the game has to pay you for as many buttons as you have. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Same way. Huh? Yeah, same way. So if it was honor or man, you could lose like 14, 15 buttons. Then you owe me 400. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that feels a lot. It, 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 it makes everybody play a lot of hands, not just to win the button, right? Like yeah, 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 that's very interesting. That, that is a progressive standard. It's just the sick DJ. Like, anyway. That is a okay, sick DJ game. That's, that's, really that's just brutal. I feel like, I mean, you get, you know, you get beaten up if you lose a stand-up, and that, you just run like shit, and you just... <laughs> Right. You're losing, you know, you're losing. Yeah, you run like shit, you really run like shit. Yeah, you're paying out. Oh, God. <laughs> 150. 150. Of course, 
about the progressive stand-up game. Never seen it played yet. Sounds fun. We got Mike and Todd. Straight draw for Todd. Top pair for Mike. Top pair remains good on a turn. Todd is going to keep firing. Todd was the free flop raiser. He does have a straight draw. He's going to put in the call again. Spades. Todd does continue firing on it. Goes about half pot, betting 600. Mike does follow through with pretty much the best plan of close your eyes and just keep calling it down. Continue to check call all the way through the river and just a drag in a pot, picking off Todd's bluff. We need to try to play the card or very like, like progressive. Color. But it's supposed to be like less if you play like 50 or 1. Back to work, opening it up with nine six of spades this time. Grant's gonna put in the call Queen Jack. Mike with a suited ace. He's gonna happily put in the call as well. There go three ways to a flop with 500 in the middle. And whew, ace six six. Mike flops it all. And this is gonna be bad news for Todd. He flops three of a kind. Starts value betting. Throwing out a little hundred. He's trying to extract value, but Mike's got his hand on lock. Now eight of spades on the turn. Todd holding the spade draw as well. Now he fires out 300. Let's see if Mike wants to check raise it. He continues to just check call. Similar to the last hand. He thinks he's letting Todd continue to bluff at it. Went all in from Todd. Obviously Mike's gonna scoop this pot in. We see Todd get stacked. No way around it on that one. Especially when you're as aggressive as Todd is, when you flop a big hand like that, you tend to get paid more often than not. Just ran into it this time. And what was a dream spot for Mike? Looks like we're going to see Todd start to reload. Everybody kind of a little quiet. Everybody's been there at some point in their career. Never a fun, never a fun time getting stacked in a game, especially with a real hand. Action on Grant with the King Queen of Hearts. He's gonna raise things up, just a matter of what the price is. Make it 150 to go. Everybody's just gonna have to fold. Yeah, Lionel talking about that last hand for Todd over on YouTube says that was a tough one. Yeah, it doesn't get much worse than that. I think especially with his image and knowing he's going to get action. Pretty brutal. You see 
Carson would open, open it up with a pocket pair. Mike has a playable hand. He's thinking about it with the King Jack. Nope. Lex to go with a three bet. The price of 700 to go. And that's going to be it for this hand as Carson lays down the sixes to Mike's three bet. Gets it done. Out a handful of all the pumpkins, one thousand dollar yellow chips, Ooh. orange, yellow, and some art contrast settings on the TV. <laughs> I just walked in. I think uh, I might have missed the hand. Uh, you missed Todd getting stacked in a pretty gross way. A six versus nine six. Was that what it was? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, I just uh, I was taking care of something, and then uh, yeah, Kirk told me about it. I'll have to go back and watch the replay on that one. Also, Lima, what's up, man? Good to see you in the chat. Hope you're doing well. About to hit the three-hour mark on the live stream. Two more to go. We saw 146 entries in flight number three with about an hour, or excuse me, flight number four with about an hour left in the live stream. Or an hour left in registration, I should say. So ace high in the lead here for Noah. But a gutter for Don. Turn the call. Ace of clubs might slow things down. Noah does hit his ace. Did out a flush draw since it is the ace of clubs. Oh, I didn't even recognize that. Yeah, you're right. Don does check it over. Like Noah, ooh, does check it back. Gives the Don a free river card. Six of hearts. So Noah able to fade uh, all that he was uh, up against. Don is sitting with ten high and might try to rep the ace. It's hard to put Noah on one when checking back that turn. Yeah, very much so. I imagine that's what Noah was trying to do with that check back it's under rep. Very much so, and he's gonna gonna work out. And yeah, Don just like uh, really, and he's gonna show the ace. So actually, well played by Noah. I'll try to feigned weakness like the ace was something he didn't want to see. Very well played, actually. I was kind of a little scared because Don still had quite a few outs left and giving him the free river card by checking it back, but it ends up working out very well in his favor. He probably wouldn't have gotten as much value as he did out of that one. Bet 400 with the ace queen. It's like Mike's not letting go of the 7 5 suited. I'll put in the call. Mike and Noah both having great nights. A pair of sixes and a tray on a swap. <coughs> been a rough night for Don, been a rough night for Todd as well. Mike and Noah, though. Having great nights. Both uh, residing in South Florida. Up here for uh, all the tournament stuff and everything as well. Five on the turn. Mike now. Gutter and a pair of fives. With the sixes on the board.
similar to the flop, one about one third pot size bet. This time it gets the job done. And Don's gonna let go of his ace high. All right, so three hour mark. Got a dealer change happening here. Go ahead and show the V pips first. Yeah, Todd and Don, highest V pips. Everyone else, 20% or lower. Carson, the uh, lowest V pip, 15% for him. That's how things look as uh, we are three hours in. And then we'll uh, show the earnings in just a second as soon as his hand closes out. And there's the damage. Yeah, Noah and Mike both almost 10K they're up. John has worked his way up to being pretty good too. 3,200 for him. Carson up about 1,700 actually. For him, he's doing pretty well. As uh, mentioned, Don and Todd, not good nights for them, unfortunately. We have hit the three hour mark here on the live stream. All right, double board PLO, bomb pot. Getting ready to happen now. So they all stick around. Continue four ways of the turns. Turn cards are only going to complicate matters more. Queen of diamonds on the top, five of diamonds on the bottom going to be Carson and John potentially chopping this up. Carson does deciding just to check the nut straight up top. Probably yeah. put in a big check raise and blast everybody out of it. I got a queen on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So John and Carson chopping this thing up. Again, guys, just a reminder, don't forget 2-2 two, two deep stack tomorrow. Get that live stream going around 4 o'clock. Then Sunday, final table action for event number one of the Run Good Poker Series. Crowning that first winner. 50 to go. That final table usually gets going around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night. So it depends on how many entries we have left going into day two. Everyone that does make day two will be in the money as well. I want to say by the time this night's done, we're going to have a little over 150k in the prize pool with a chance to double the guarantee tomorrow. Two flights left. Of course, tournaments are going to continue on after the run good is done. I've done the best bet St. Augustine on March 30th through the $300 buy-in, 30K guarantee stack. 
single day event. I like as well at night, at seven o'clock at night, for those that may have missed getting into the money for the 30K guarantee, they have the $100 buy-in mulligan that they call it, the stack the mulligan. <laughs> that's pretty good, that's pretty good. We'll run a $100 tournament at night at seven o'clock for those that missed the money you and know. the 30K guarantee. If you have like a you know, full-time job and that's your day off and you get a day set aside, you gotta maximize it. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe some of I definitely would do. Same here. Five, four, ace, two spades. So flush draw for Grant. Four pairs of the board. Todd's Queen Jack is still in the lead, but look at all the outs that Grant has. Some of those being chop outs, but a lot of those outs are opportunities for him to win the hand, and he does bet and Todd's gonna let it go. Fortunately for Todd, that wasn't really blocking anything on that board. Heart draw, spade draw. Way too many hands that was potentially going to beat him. Todd and Carson heads up. Queen Jack versus 9 8 suited. Carson is the player in position on this hand. Todd, the original opener. Guys, just check it over to Carson rather than see that. Carson throws out a bet. Todd puts in the call. He's on the turn. Looks like Todd's going to start representing that hand. Uh, he has an ace in his hand. Fires out 200 and gets the job done. Suited. He's letting it go so far. So we get over to John. He's going to call out of the third blind. Win 100 more. Happy to call it ace tray. Rainbow board. King 9 7. It's like Todd Seabesh is going to take this one down. Yeah. It's been very much a busy night in the room. Definitely appreciate everyone hanging out with us. Appreciate everyone watching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she works in the medical field, so she gets, oh, gets, uh, gets uh, oh. like extra, extra terrible. <laughs> but yes, yeah, also like, you know, you know, most of my So the rest of the live stream schedule, of course, final table, event one on Sunday night, 
We'll have a feature to final for the women's tournament. That's going to be on Monday. Uh, Tuesday feature to final for the Ambassador Bounty event. Next Friday will be a 5-10 No Limit Hold'em game that we'll have on the live stream. And then, of course, Sunday will be the final table for the main event, 300K guarantee. That's all that's coming up on the live stream schedule during the Run Good series. It's going to be weird for me. I'm going to have a, a rare Saturday off. Letting Mookie Betts go is going to be like the stupidest decision. One of the stupidest decisions in sports history. Usually only happens during the main event weekends. Yeah. That, Devers is good. That's and not, they're not doing anything else. That's not a bad. That oh, he's was, awesome, but they're not helping him. So Mike Parrot tends now. It's the only money they ever give. You know, Devers is good. Devers is great. But letting Mookie Don Betts go is a gutter. Yeah. They're like, we'll take Alex Verdugo and a bag of baseballs, and you get the MVP of the league and like a first ballot Hall of Famer. And the, John Henry's like, yeah, so dumb. The guy they let just it go. Got hurt. Todd. There's Ace Queen is going to have to let this go too. Pitcher. I was born in uh, Hartford. My parents got divorced when I was two. Okay. I grew up in Georgia, but I spent my summers in uh, Connecticut. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I've probably been to a 60, 70 games at Fenway. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm a Red Sox only fan. I haven't been to that many games, but I've definitely been to quite a few. It's an awesome, awesome place to watch a game. You know where Kenmore Square is? Mm -hmm. uh, after my freshman year in college, I, I lived up there for three months. It was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Great, great town for a college kid. Oh, yeah. Fun stuff when you're in college, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boston's probably the best college town in America. Yeah. That might be disputed, but it's a good one. Go 150 and the one four, two, four, three. John elects just a flat call for being sneaky. I think he was praying for Todd to put in his squeeze. Boston College, Nine six. Yeah, 9 6 king flop here. Queens are still in the lead. Eight on the turn. Board's starting to connect a little more. Club draw out there now, and John is going to have to bet here. And yeah, once it checks around on the flop, it's pretty safe. Nobody has a king out there. Also, just means you're not going to drag in much of a pot. Right. So unfortunately, John's uh, plan backfires there. No, I went to Georgia Tech. But he still takes down the hand. I grew up in South Georgia. He lose the pot. Yeah, he doesn't lose the uh, pot, correct. Right. Well, I mean, as far as, like, trying to get more value potentially out of it. Yeah, I think he was definitely hoping for Todd to put in a re-raise behind. Yeah. Right. Especially with Todd being stuck a little bit. You know, Todd could be potentially trying to make some type of play there, but... Didn't end up happening. But, like I said, not the worst thing. It does scoop up a pot. I haven't won a national championship. Which is better than not. We can beat Flutie. I'll, 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 I'll let my dad know about that. 125. Raise 402. Getting a little crafty here. Ireland a couple years ago. So a three bet with the King Four suited. See Miguel respect it and fold Ace Queen. Not too much thought. Top though. It's a four bet. That's the kind of stuff John was hoping for in the last hand. Yeah, that's exactly what he was wanting to have happen. It's a pretty big four bet for Todd as well. Well, three X Mike's three bet. That's on. American football starting to catch on over there. Trying, we're starting to realize it's a little more exciting than soccer, just a little bit. I'm not hearing any soccer slander. I'm a big soccer fan. Hey, you know what? I won't. Great sport. I'm, I, I I'm not, not saying anything bad about it, but American football is the greatest game ever. Any <laughs> <laughs> outside of America would uh, just. <laughs> okay, tell me how to play. I can say it's very complicated. <laughs> it's like baseball, golf, and polo. American football horses. And second, and a very close second, is fucking hockey. 
go to a live hockey game, there's nothing more exciting. Oh, oh, that's that's game where they this is true. Live hockey is an amazing thing to be at. <laughs> Football. B O L. Are you Dutch? Uh, so I assume you're a, uh, a football fan football over. Fan, yeah, you like football better than football? Oh, no, no, it's it's perfect. Football. I get it. I love it when we get different cultures and like the conversations that are sparked from it. Soccer slash football. Meanwhile, back to the poker. Todd does have the best hand, pair of kings. Carson's gonna go ahead and let it go after Todd fires out of bed. No, I get it. <laughs> Basketball is lame. I'd rather fucking clean the bathroom than watch the NBA. NBA. College used to be great, but now that they're paying them and they play one year, college is not going to be anymore either. I think, yeah. I will wager that he's watched NBA games. College basketball in the 80s and 90s was so good. I was about to say something. Relatively close to that. I'm calling his bluff. Yeah. <laughs> John Stark, that's the first name you thought of. I'm straight out of fucking Brooklyn. It's so random. Clearly, John Stark? You got sure, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, yeah, that is MJ, you call him John Stark? I mean, he was third. John Stark, Patrick Ewing, and then Michael Jordan. Yeah, like, he's probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's in there too. <laughs> He had a good run, yeah. He had a really good That's the first time Rare John Stark mention on the live stream tonight. Really, New York. You, you know John Stark. Yeah, he was good. You put John Stark in the same category as Patrick Ewing? He was on the same team. I understand. I mean, it's a completely different position, obviously. They were, they carried the team almost to the championship, almost against Jordan and all that. What is it, almost? Almost? I did love Chicago for 25 years. He was pretty good. I think he was pretty good. They had, a, they had that other uh, Chinese guy or whatever. He came out of nowhere and just like ran it. What was his name? Um, Lin. Lou Lin. Yeah. Jeremy Lin. <coughs> he played the league for a while. He, yeah, he ran hot. Like, he he got him. real hot. Yeah, he had a hot half. two years and then just dropped off. Yeah, kind of dropped off, yeah. Mike, you're shot up. When I think of the Knicks, I think of Ewing and Bernard, and Bernard, Bernard, Bernard King. King. Not John Stark. Bernard <laughs> King. You remember that? Yeah, kind of. If you go full of How old are you? 24? What's the Bernard thing on the boys? What's the next? I was actually a Milwaukee Bucks fan growing up. Totally random. Never been to Milwaukee in my life. Uh, uh, He's a flop for Jax. <coughs> it's been a pretty frequent non believer with Todd, so I imagine he'll keep check calling. The difference was is that like they actually tried. They Jax are gonna be good. Mike with just a pair of sixes, but he's gonna fire out a small bet of two hundred. Snap call. Yeah, that's a stop, easy snap call for Todd. So if I check it, he can bet 400 and I'm going to call. So I'll name my price for two out of Mike, I think. Draymond is trying to take Lambeer's uh, title. I don't know, man. Draymond's making a good push, man. Really? Punches his teammates, kicks people in the balls like five or six times. Choke somebody on the court. I mean, the Pistons had Lambeer. Draymond Green is a, uh, he's a special case. Uh, Bill Lambeer was also a very special case, but Draymond's also a pretty. They were all, yeah. they were all to the other team, not their own team. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, that is the difference. Uh, Craig Elo, Mark Price, Brad Doherty. They have some good teams. Yeah, before he went to the Bulls. <laughs> they were good, but they were in the same division as the Bulls. So. Yeah, you won. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was a Milwaukee fan in the 80s, and they were the second best team every year in the East, because they sell them. Wow, we've seen... These are some of uh, the most mono boards we've had a lot tonight. Not ace pairs on the river. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dave, I would say, uh, you know, if you uh, ever wanted to play against uh, a player pool like that, that would be based on your opinion, you can always sign up on uh, our website and try to play on one of these live streams. It might be free money for you. He's a Charger fan. Wow, you lost. <laughs> He's a Charger fan. They got rid of, got rid of Mike Williams, got rid of Keenan Allen, got rid of Eckler. They got rid of Kenny Jones, primary receiver. Yeah, they traded Keenan out of the Bears last night. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't see that. He's to the Bears. Yeah, that's tough. I don't, why did they get rid of all of them? Do they just hate Justin Herbert? They got rid of, they didn't re-sign Eckler, which is fair. I yeah. think that was fair. But gave up uh, Mike they, Williams, they released. Right, they released Mike Williams, which oh, seems not good. I mean, he's injury problem. In the ninth. Uh, they just, they just Allen. hate for a fourth rounder. They too. just hate. Well, Keenan Allen's oh, like, he's getting on right now. Oh, yeah. But 30s, right? Yeah. I mean, he's still very good. He's a superstar. He's still very, very, very good. Last year, he was unbelievable. Yeah. I feel like he's getting better and better. Hands up. Yeah, they just hate Justin Herbert. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Carson put out a C bet. Johnson called his 10. He's like, no. Yeah. Check. <laughs> Two pair, well now three pair for John. Now Carson catches a seven on the river. John's ten is best. Yep. What do you think the Bears are going to do with uh, Fields? I hope they suck with him because I'm a Lions fan. What do you think? They got a right. I will say uh, NFL free agency this year is, and this is something that we were talking about on the table. It's been a very weird year for NFL free agency. Obviously Bears fans, and they are all constantly suicidal. The Bears organization is yeah, such a joke. They're excited, but they're, they put themselves like they're in like a dangerous position where they're in a kind of good position. They have a lot of assets and cap space and stuff, and it's like, how are we? And their ownership will fuck. How can how can we fuck this one? One fifty. One fifty. One fifty. In the one. Goal two. Goal How can we fuck this one? We will try. No. I don't know what they're gonna do. It sounds like it sounds like nobody wants Justin Fields. Long time. I guess Bears observer more than anything. Is that like prior? <laughs> all, like all, all my best friends in Chicago, obviously. So what do you think? Do you Bears think they keep Fields or, or is he gone? No, he's gone. He's gone, but like nobody, nobody, nobody seems like they want him. Like, he's he's in he ends up in New England. I wouldn't hate it. Fuck it. I mean, they're gonna get like a sixth round pick. I don't think he's gonna end up in New England. New England's gonna draft him. See? Yeah, we will see. That's true. I'm surprised he hasn't moved yet. Like, well, Atlanta, was, Atlanta was supposedly the best fit for you. Atlanta and the Steelers, and they got Russell Wilson. Yeah. I saw I saw Atlanta at one point was like minus 425 to get from there. Yeah, I saw there was a whole thing that leads on Twitter. I don't know if you saw him like supposedly celebrating getting the phone call that he was going back to Atlanta. Oh, I didn't see that. No, no. Wow, this is the third time tonight Miguel's had pocket kings. So obviously the Packers are their big rival. Uh, Parsons got a monster. Well, they Favre kings. And Rogers were they in Green does. Bay. The Bears could like blow it up. Seven starting quarterbacks. All the kings are all the kings are in play. Dead. Parsons doesn't put in the four bet. Just yeah, flat calls. And the I'm ace sure. does show up on a window. 
I wasn't sure if it was alarm bells that Miguel put in the three bed or if he was just trying to keep Todd in there since he called. Miguel got about 300 here. Does hold the king of clubs. So he is partially blocking that uh, back door. Carson. Two pair of aces and jacks. what he can get value out of at this point. Carson bet 1,200. Miguel. Miguel. Hoping Miguel has ace-queen or becomes a non-believer with a big pocket pair like this. Miguel's a pretty disciplined player. We mentioned how Todd is a very snap, you know, decision maker and thing. Miguel likes to think things out a bit more. He does let it go. What a fool by Miguel. That boy is good. Carson scooping up another pot. So I started getting into soccer football when our World Cup team started getting better. And then the, the women got all political and fucking annoying and I just gave up on it. Which makes it even more painful because they're political and annoying. They're getting worse. The world's catching up. Do you like hockey? Oh, hockey's a great sport. I don't like hockey. That was a great time. They don't fight much anymore because it's too, it's too probably detrimental. Five on four, you're almost always going to give up a point. Not always. Third of the time you're giving up a goal. Uh, not always. I'm not sure. Only gets called Todd. Come tomorrow. The guys, On seven, stay best on check six tray flop. Five hundred. John's gonna see bet about half pot when it goes over to him. Todd pretty quickly calls. We have spades on the turn. John with no spade. Let's check that one back. Actually going to check once more on the river. And Todd sevens can drag it in. You really gave up on the national team? No. There's hope, man. There's like... There's like a glimmer of hope that you can just get, you can grab onto it. It's gonna be here in America. Like if, if they were on TV, I would watch. It. If, 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 be on TV. It's if the women's America. team's on TV, I'm not watching. I'm not. I'm not I would. Gonna, I would have ten years ago. I'm not gonna argue on that. But it, the World Cup's coming to America. It's gonna be fucking awesome. You gotta be a fan by that. All right, an hour and a half left in the live stream. Just look at the beep hips. Yeah. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Soccer. Yeah. 30% for Todd. 30% for Don. Everyone else kind of in the 20s. The Noah now, the lowest V pip, 16%. For him. So we right, wait for the hand to close out, and then we'll show uh, the earnings as far as who's up and who's down. And there's a look at it. Noah still up the most. Mike up a bit. John up a little bit. Carson up a bit. Carson's closer to 2K. Again, we're adding 800 to his. And here we go. The board bomb pot action. It might be actually 15. Uh, like Formula One? That he's up. 
I like Formula One. It's around that range. Okay, I got no argument with that. I had no idea you were the best. <laughs> Max. Yeah, Max Verstappen. He's Dutch. So far, checking around to everyone who is participating so the best F1 driver in the double board PLO bomb pot. Now Todd has the equity lead. 46% for him. Nut straight down bottom. Mm -hmm. She does beat out Mike's live five down low. That's 200. Mike is going to put in the call. Heads up. Heads up now. I heard the F1 race in Vegas a couple months ago. Todd, uh, straight up Todd. Scooping both. You mean both? You mean both. You don't get to see the whole race. Yep, straight on the bottom. And then, uh, five. I know it's boring. Is it the start of the deal? Yep, five better kickers. I have Smallest Todd is going to scoop it in a bomb pot in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Not often you're going to see that. No. Uh, I believe the first four hours. Yeah, about. Yeah, like I'm trying to remind myself yeah. not to join the game right now. Yeah, it's one of the breaks. I watched it though. We'll make a secret break. We'll make a secret break. Hold on. All right, how about breakfast? All right, it's 150. 300. Yes. Todd and Don heads up in a three bet pot. Don flops a gut shot. Todd flops top pair. And Todd C bets for NC Don Paul. But I have no idea. Yeah. Board no, I know dude. some. Yeah, you have big names. Yeah, what's the guy? Uh, the place for Chelsea? Mudrick. Mudrick, yeah. Robin Same name as me. Yeah. 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 Off yeah. on YouTube says, let's go Todd and it's it's Todd Dragon Pot. Uh, we'll talk about the rough night he's been having. Enjoy that moment. Or, Sevilla, or Barcelona. Table. Girona. Yeah, yeah, Girona. I had no idea they were doing table. Yeah, game squad. And it was like, so it won. Yeah, yeah. And they ran good. Really, it's Dean Lim. John Lim. Don putting the raise. Todd snap called. And then uh, watch like our premium league. Todd actually just fought the best hand with his 7 5. Came down 7 high. Actually, check through on an ace turn. Now, board pairing juice on the river. John's going to rep the ace. 
Todd. Gonna look him up. Catches John's hand in the cookie jar that time. Another pot going Todd's way. Six this time. <laughs> Mike gonna defend. Very good defending hand in pocket fives. First to remain So he's seen this a couple of times. Todd opens. Mike defends. This time around, though. Things didn't get as crazy as they're both kind of happy to take down their showdown value. A similar yeah, hands. Like, uh, spandex Todd's sixes. Declare the mics fives. The total headbanger. Christian Heavy Mel. <laughs> I'm Jewish. I'm like, Christian Heavy Mel. He's got a great roommate, pal. <laughs> I'm a South Georgia Jew that likes country. <laughs> Uh, you're from Georgia, you're not a big uh, UGA guy or anything? I went to Georgia Tech, so... <laughs> oh, you went to Georgia Tech, you said that. <laughs> so I can't stand it. Yeah. <laughs> Wish death upon me. <laughs> I don't hate them. I hate the Miami Hurricanes. Oh, amen. But I don't hate Georgia. I'm tired of losing to them. Last year. Oh, in the best way possible. No, that was Miami. I'm tired of losing to Georgia. Uh, We've lost seven years in a row. Yeah, okay. Wow. I thought no Yeah, uh, Miami gave us that game. What a <laughs> chance I was sneaking. Beauty that was. No <laughs> what a stupid yeah, mistake. Yeah, I don't like my, Miami's. Why, why they ball. ran the ball. I couldn't believe we won that game. I, I yelled and screamed for like an hour after the game. My yeah. wife's like, settle down. I'm like, no, look at that. We just beat Miami because of idiots. That, that was an extremely enjoyable game. Oh, so they like, as much. That was, that was they were, they were, they were, <laughs> they were 4-0 going into that game. Yeah. And they ended up like 6-6 six and six or something like that. Yeah, that was the hard one. Yeah. Oh, it's a basketball game. Yeah. What would you have been your playoff? What, what would have been your playoff? <coughs> I mean, I mean, obviously FSU was in. Obviously FSU was in. But was, how would you have negotiated? I was, I was so close. I was. I'm putting them in. I was so close. I was so close to putting 5K on Bama missing the playoffs. Oh. I'm so glad they didn't. <laughs> wow, that is. <laughs> and I don't even torch that. <laughs> so who would you put in? Would you put Bama in? Bama's out. Yeah, Bama's out. Oh, Bama's out. Yeah, Bama's out. Oh, no discount. No discount. So like Texas is it. Yeah. One time I want to discount. Yeah. 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 Texas is your home baby. Like, you got to clarify that next time. I'll run it by Don. Check. Check. Yeah, that was tough. That was really tough. Too lucky. I want a hand. We had, had a very underrated defense. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little sad <laughs> that like, everybody kind of just opted out and then you just got bodied by Georgia. Yeah. When you probably would have, if everyone was in, you'd probably lose to Georgia anyways. Yeah. But absolutely. like, it's, it's, that was just a disappointment. Like, the whole situation was... Yeah. The shit, the I'm shit, not an FSU fan. Shit they got situation. screwed. They got, they got totally screwed. <laughs> and then half the team didn't go play Georgia in the ball game because they got embarrassed. Yeah, that was tough. That was, that was like... Uh, like, well, that's why they're not in the playoffs. Well, yeah. 30% of their team is exactly. not here. Exactly. But if you're, like, a guy that has an NFL future and you're on that FSU team and you get screwed so badly... Like, why are you playing oh, hard? Oh, I'm really hoping that FSU would just go and take a beat. I'll have you play playing that game. Just to peacefully protest. Like, okay, yeah, we'll take a little bit money or whatever. But we'll just take a beat. Just take a beat. Let Georgia have, like, the uh, six, 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 biggest win. Which works back in the 
Break from the sports chat for a 10 8 6 flop. Todd bets out. Gets the best hand to fold of the deuces. John's going to put in the default ace high. Todd continues firing on this turn. He's going to get the job done. Oh, the highest score of all time? Yeah. 222 to nothing. Good game. They had, they had, they had two second downs in the whole game. <laughs> they averaged like 21 yards a carry. And, you know, they only played three quarters. In the fourth quarter, the team walked off. The other team walked off. That's <laughs> John Heisman was the coach. That told you how long ago it was. Yeah. They uh, they got screwed in baseball. Uh, it was Cumberland College, and they screwed Georgia Tech out of some money in baseball. So they said we're not going to come play football in the fall, and they threatened to sue. Them. So Cumberland sent their whole baseball team to play in the football game. <laughs> That's why they got slaughtered. One fifty. I checked over to Mike. Fires out one fifty with this gut shot to Broadway. John with a gut shot of his own puts in the call. Not the trays. A little aware that people are out here trying to steal this one. Looks like he puts in the call. Mike once again. Now he's going thighs up. Closer to full pot, betting out 800. But Todd doesn't quite believe the story that Mike's telling. Scott, Mike. Todd does reluctantly let it go. Mike just padding his stats. Him and Noah far and away, the two having the best night so far tonight. Just over an hour left in the stream. Hard to picture a world where they don't end up with a great evening, but. Obviously, things can change in just one hand. Yeah, for mention, Mike. It's not ace queen. Gonna bump it up to 125. All the way on to Noah. Just gonna let it go out in the third line. That was thick. December. That was just their uh, okay. winter series. Oh, okay, okay. So I feel like the WPT draw is like a bigger name. I don't know if the series yeah. is uh, WPT probably yeah. for sure. Yeah, what? That's also the last term I cashed in. Was it was in November. <laughs> it wasn't the main event. <laughs> I've been about 10 tournaments since I've cashed yet. I had this one guy that I was playing with that uh, like from my area and was like saying, you know, like the big 
not the main, but like there are tournaments that are like three hundred dollars where they have like fifteen k entries or twenty k entries in WSOP. This guy got like fifth or sixth. And I was like, oh, I got like hundred k. I was like, oh man, congratulations, that's awesome. I looked back and I, I played that tournament nine times. I was back. It's just like, wow, good times. And we did see Todd turn the straight. Continues to extract some value out on the river from Carson. Carson turns. I live in Washington, D.C., but I'm in the Maryland area for a while. Eights and sixes. You're in Morgantown, West Virginia? Actually, yeah. turning top that's where I live. I wonder if I was a Mountaineer fan. I was a Mountaineer fan as a kid. Yeah. And I went to Georgia Tech, and I liked them both. And then they played each other in the Gator Bowl, and I was torn. It's tough. Carson uh, me, right? Or the Gator Bowl, yeah. yeah. The action start on Mike. It's not a pocket pair. Bumps it up to 125. Miguel, nice to act. Ace 10 suited, gonna put in the call. Todd looking down at Ace King suited. We've got a three bet incoming on Todd's button. Sure enough, makes it 550 to go. Back on Miguel, let's see if he wants to put in the call. He does not, just lets it go. Todd hit no action with the Ace King suited. One of my customers. That's how I wanted my customer to work. Got yet? John's gonna bump it to 125, and Don come down at pocket queens. Immediate three bet to 350. Nobody else clears out. And actually gets back on John. We see him pretty quickly put in the call. Pretty safe for Don. Nine five deuce rainbow. Land as it can get. Don puts out the C bet. John, quick to fold. You see Don drag that one in. Firing. Todd's going to keep calling with his ace. Our river seven. Don tries to bluff that. It's going to be disastrous as Todd's going nowhere. Lucky for Don that he waves the right flag, checks it over. Todd's going to take this one down. Don can't get anything going tonight. Todd has been having a pretty rough one himself. Uh, we 
Todd opens up, we see Miguel and John put in the calls. Three ways. So king, queen, six. Todd flopping top pair, Miguel with middle pair. Todd Seabeds, we're going to see Miguel put in the call. <laughs> John gets out of the way, go off to a turn. He's not Trey clubs, so Miguel adds a flush draw to go with his pair of queens. Obviously going nowhere on this turn, just better. He wants to call or check raise. Goes with the call. Disastrous river card for Todd when it comes down to king of clubs. Miguel makes his flush. Todd, three kings. Miguel fires out 700. Todd snap calls. He's going to get the bad news. One of the worst cards in the deck that can fall for Todd there. Is there any good poker in the DC area? Oh, yeah. Washington, DC. Yeah, really, really. Yeah, yeah, you can't. That is their one. It's got, they're very strict about like, if you're like, hey, give me a thousand, and you send cash my way, and I give you chips, it's like, they'll like, turn you out. Yeah. Have you played at the Encore in Boston? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's a sweet place. It's a really nice place, but they kind of, uh, I don't know, they don't treat their players that like, they have I've only played there once. They don't uh, right. treat their players that well. The rank is high, and they don't, they don't seem to give a shit about poker, honestly. And the MGM in DC is really great. If you're ever in the area, it's fun to check out. Oh, Mike try to steal the blinds, opening the button. Not good for him as John calls with trays and he's going to flop a set. Turn nine does give Mike a gut shot. Let's see if he keeps firing on the turn. Like to just check it back, and he hits that gutter ball on the river. Pretty unfortunate for John. He fires out for value. Not to get the bad news. Bad news confirmed. Mike puts in the raise. John can't let it go. Has to see it. Low play, you get what you get. Unfortunate run for John there is kicking himself for slow playing his set of trays. Came out perfect, perfect for Mike. session tonight. A lot of smooth sailing, getting a lot of max value in spots. Here we see him right back at it with Ace King. Good bet. First with Ace Trey suited, might be tempted to mix in a four bet given how active Mike is. We just saw him show down Jack Deuce also in the last hands.
Don't see Carson put in. The raised to 1100. Mike's got to decipher what this means. Carson messing around here. Does he have the goods? He has a hand like Queens. So we just want to put in the raise, try to get it all in. Mike actually just going to let it go. Carson's going to take that one down. Rare misstep for Mike. As we uh, hit four hours down in the live stream, take a look at the V pips. Todd, uh, no surprise, on top of the V pip uh, stats. Don, 31%, Mike, 30%. Carson and Noah, 15% for both of them. <laughs> and uh, well, as soon as this hand does close out, we'll show the earnings as far as. Who's up? Who's down? And with that said, there we go. Mike, even with that misstep, still up quite a bit. Noah up as well. Both those players up over 9K. Carson's back to kind of being even. Might be a little more than that. I think he's up like around 700, 800 actually. Uh, John, even. Don and Todd, uh, rough night. For both of them here well, on the live stream. Mike, how do you feel about uh, going an extra hour tonight? You okay with that? It should be all right. All right. Yeah, players did ask, and uh, yeah, players did ask. So yeah, a little bonus live stream. We'll be taking things till 12:15 tonight. So we'll give one extra hour of live stream action here on Best Bet Live. We are back with the double board PLO bomb pot. Five pairs of the board on the top, ace of clubs on the bottom, so club draw on the bottom board. That's what John C has. Also, two pair on the top, nine seven. And he's also got some diamond draw on the top board, too. So the flush completes with diamonds for John on the top board. But Noah is actually going to be the one to take it down. Boats up on the top. Eight full of fives. And trip jacks on the uh, bottom. Why am I? John letting out a little frustration there. Hard not yeah. to be. Fortunately for John, he's going to kiss that 800 and buy. So, Noah must have seen that leaderboard. Didn't like that Mike took over the top, so <laughs> went ahead and picked up enough chips to, to retake the lead on the night. So my wife asked me last year, she's like, how'd you do playing holding this year? I was like, well, I won about 80, 90 grand. She goes, well, that's great. She goes, 
Yeah, but I lost a fucking hundred grand playing with goddamn bomb pots. <laughs> 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 Mike, I'm just gonna say case in point with uh, <laughs> John C. Oh, yeah. being at the table, definitely providing pain, some. Though. I'm pretty sure if I could separate my wins and losses, it'd be very skewed towards losses and bomb pots. Mm -hmm. Got Miguel getting no action with his aces. <laughs> Every hand bump pot. I heard they play in Vegas. Uh, imagine like 100 for each player. Right. And on the flop, you can lose only pot. Right. If, if someone bet pot, then turn river and just check, 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 check. So, really? Wait, yeah. There's no betting after so, the flop. So you can lose. You can only lose 900. Yeah, 1,000. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. And everybody's so excited, just, just 900. <laughs> and then losing every hand. Yeah. 25 and the one. Raise 400. That busy night in the room. I don't think uh, the uh, floors out on the floor have stopped opening games it has been a busy night Mike's gonna take this down with ace king pre flop that time he doesn't let go of ace king after I fold the last time no, no, you can't. You're not fucking with me. You're not that kind of guy. 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 you I mean, I think it's also a lot to, to do with uh, John C. getting to the table, too. He's kind of... He woke everybody up. Yeah, exactly. playing as king now yeah too much out there that could uh, threaten your trip kings there with uh, diamond draw spade draw potential straights unfortunately can't get anything out of it but in the theme of his night can't get much going fortunately for Don <coughs> Now Todd, pocket kings, bumps up to 150. Carson, pocket tens, puts in the three bet to 600. So another potential heads up battle here with Todd and Carson. Todd going to go ahead and put in the four bet, 1650. Carson is going to let it go.
Andy, what's up, man? Good to see you. How's the lineup look for tomorrow? Uh, from the last time I looked at it, there's a lot of names I wasn't familiar with, which we're going to have a lot of that with um, the Run Good Poker Series uh, being here in town. I do know Mad Hatter is going to be part of the game. See Roy's back on this list too. Should be an okay game. But like I said, a lot of these names that I'm looking at on the list are uh, names I'm not quite familiar with. <laughs> now Grant has the tens and he's only bumped up to 200. Trey, nine queen, two clubs. Now clubs complete. Grant is holding the ten of clubs. Let's go check, check, and a king on the river. Card Grant did not want to see. No. He's on bet. Now whether Mike wants to turn his hand into a block or not. <laughs> They say that I'll either fold or raise, and he does fold, does let it go. Holding no clubs of his own makes it a little tough. Go back out and check. Uh, registration should be closed for flight number four. I think uh, the last number I saw when I came back in here was they had 160 entries for flight number four. 168 for the final count. Wow, 168. That's pretty good. So, yeah, I think we made that 100K guarantee just today. Like, if you just took the two flights that we had for today, we were already had the... Uh, 100k guarantee so i'm gonna say it's probably close to 150 160k in the prize pool for event number one of the run good series so basically everything we do tomorrow is just going to be just sweeten it up even more 
kind of like Mike here with Pocket Jacks, betting 250, and Don putting in the call with his pair of fours. That now turns into trips. The problem is, it does have a diamond. Yeah, it does put diamonds out there. Mike does have the jack of diamonds. Mike's still pretty live. Any jack, any diamond. He's going to check it. I'll take his free river card. That's a six of hearts. I'm going to go ahead and bet 600 here. Don's going to get a little extra value out of that. He's going to scoop up a decent pot. A couple of, a couple of bright spots for Don here and there tonight. Yeah. Unfortunately, the hits that he's uh, taken have been yeah. pretty big hits. The low lights are more expensive, unfortunately. Yeah. Todd are pretty similar in that regard. A lot of a lot of bad highlights. Definitely has not been a kind night to both of them. Again, guys, do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Do appreciate you guys watching. Again, we are uh, taking tonight's live stream until midnight. Players did ask if we can uh, go an extra hour and said sure, we could do it. Queen Jack 7 flop. Gutter for Noah and Noah's going to take it down. Yeah, with 168 uh, entries in flight number four, it means 17 players will advance to the money for day two, which is Sunday of our event number one of the Run Good Poker Series, Destination Run Good. Last year we were a checkpoint, this year we're a destination. John now waking up with pocket queens on the button. He's going to three bet at the 400. He's going to fold around back to Miguel. An extra 275 to call. He's going to let it go. So John taking down the hand pre flop. Discipline night from Miguel. He's gotten in too many weird spots. Definitely is this thing though. He's is a very disciplined player. Like I said, uh, 
He's someone that doesn't act too quickly, kind of considers all of his options that he has. Ace King versus Ace King here. Let's see who's going to want it more. Did see Mike lay down Ace King three flop once earlier. Let's see if he does it again. Spot. Mike still has uh, Todd and John to act behind him. Mike and Noah, obviously, two of the biggest, deepest stacks on the table. Well, I mean, these guys also play in South Florida a lot together, too, so I think there's that that's uh, a factor in this as well. Looks like he is going to put in a four bet. Too large. I want to see Noah let go of Ace King to that small four bet. Well, you did ask who was going to want it more. It was Mike. <laughs> you don't let him off that easy. Five tray, two clubs. Mike's over pair stays the best. Action's going to check around to the jack on the turn. Gives Todd the best hand. There, Jacks. Plus, he's got a gut shot straight draw just in case. Mike is the one that bet out 250 here. Don and Todd still in the hand. Now, Todd goes runner, runner for trips. And now Mike is going to go ahead and check it. Might be tough for any sort of bluff to get through. I think that's what Don might have been thinking. Both flush draws missed. Yeah, Todd, going to put about. Looks like he is. He is definitely going to be putting in the bet. Yeah, 2K over bets the pot. Interesting for Mike. So many different things in terms of flush and straight draws missed. Todd could easily have one of them. Obviously, Todd very capable of pulling off big bluffs as well. So Mike might be tempted to look him up. Does let it go. Don behind him, yeah. 
I'd say with Don behind him, maybe it makes it a little bit tougher to look a guy up light. Todd, ma Todd made Mike think about it, so. Almost worked out. Again, just a reminder, guys, don't forget tomorrow we will be back at it. 2 2 Nolan Mahonam deep stack cash game we'll have. With that going around 4 15 tomorrow. And on Sunday, final table action event number one of the Run Good Poker Series. 100K guarantee, $400 buy in. We have easily surpassed the 100K guarantee and then some. Most likely we'll be doubling it after tomorrow's two flights. Take the over. Yeah. Take the over. Yeah. <coughs> Definitely take the over. Doozy of a hand here. I see John just let go of Ace Queen. Long's coming up. Ah, this is heated down. I'm not tempted. Yeah, that's right. Are you sure? That's right, Paul. Are you Paul? You both have been dominated. Dominated. Carson, Carson with an underpair of the board. Looks like he's going to keep betting. Not just smooth calling. Board does not pair. Puts a one liner out there. Let's see if Carson wants to represent a made hand here. Todd is checked. Both turn the river. There it is, big bet from Carson. 1600 into about 2K. Todd now praying that Carson has a hand. I'm going to try to extract something. But as soon as Todd goes all in, Carson snap holds. needed pot for him. Hill time bluff for Carson. Just ran into the nuts there. Tried to skip it like the one seat. Didn't work for me. <laughs> You're not as slick as I am. When you weigh 300 pounds, you don't get away with a whole lot of stuff. You can't sneak in and out. <laughs> not that I weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> Barely 295.
That's soaking wet. Soaking wet. Yeah. Todd opened up at nines. Carson, fresh off the bluff into Todd in the last hand, waking up with Kings. To put in a three bet against Todd's open. I mean, these two heads up to a flop yet again. Comes down, King high. Carson with top set. He's out a small C bet, about one third pot. Todd pretty quickly calls. Now eight in the turn. Let's see what Carson thinks he can extract here. What sizing he goes with. up big. Just under a pot size bet. Oh, it doesn't look like a believer. He's putting in the call. Pot blooming up. Carson with just over a pot size bet behind. You see a six of spades on the river. if Carson was setting up a river shove. And that's what he does. Rips it all in and clearly a little bit of disgust from Todd. here in Todd's mind at all. Once that turn came, we saw Carson polarize. Todd trying to do the math. How often is Carson bluffing here versus how often he has it? After deliberation, Todd comes to the right conclusion and lets it go. It's the second time we've seen Todd figure it out correctly today. Where he's been in the tank, which doesn't happen too often. Needed chips going back Carson's way. He gave way to Todd on the last hand. <coughs> Let's see if these two continue to battle. The stream winds down. About another hour and a half remaining. The last couple are in indication. Those two are going to continue to go to war. chat Joseph Ney. Now you're going to make me ask Carson his origin story the next time I see him. Check. 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 Check.
shovelboard, Omaha bomb pot. We see Mike holding the case four in his hand. Obviously with two fours up top and one down bottom, there's only one remaining. So Mike knows he's got effectively the nuts on that top board. Did fire out a pot size bet as a result. Everybody's letting it go. Grant, however, holding top two pair on the bottom. Give it a little bit of thought, but let it go. Mike has to take it down. <laughs> Todd said, do another one. I was disappointed in that one. <laughs> Pretty funny. That was the first thing I thought, too. I was like... All right, so quick look at the stats. Noah now, your big winner. It's Noah and Mike, and everybody else is stuck. Let's go. Let's play one round of 100, 200, some of that stuff. And then look at the V pips there. Same. As again, uh, we got about an hour and a half left on the live stream. We are extending the stream to midnight tonight. Oh, you can't bet five. Do six nine flop here on this one. Don has a gutter. Back door to hearts for Noah. So Noah's just gonna fire out with the betting lead. Yeah, it's been a bad night for uh, Don, uh, Andy. It's been a rough one for him. <laughs> so, John does get the straight. Oh, yeah, John's not even in the hand. Who knows? Well, it was, was it Don that continued? Yeah. Don stuck around, hit his five. So just a, you know, 200 more of those, and we're going to see Don unstuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Don does end up picking that hand there. So yeah, John wasn't even in the hand. Don does, uh... <coughs> scoop that one up. By the way, funny story, uh... Of course, uh, they're talking about Aaron Donald, and uh, Aaron Donald announced his retirement and stuff like that. Uh, Kyle, Mayer, uh, Kyle Murray, the uh, quarterback for the uh, Cardinals, tweeted at Aaron Donald when he announced his retirement, quote, thank God. <laughs> of course, Kyle Murray has uh, had to face Aaron Donald twice every season so far. Aaron Donald was very much a terror in the uh, NFL. Definitely a Hall of Famer for sure. How about a Hall of Fame flop here for Don with the set of trays? Now Mike with uh, the Jacks again. Todd with a deuce. 10 on the turn. Now Mike. Don and Todd check into him. I wonder if Mike's going to fire out the bet, how much he does. 225 the bet from Mike. <coughs> Queen on the river. Check, check again. Check. Mike decides to check it back. <laughs> decides to take his Jackson showdown. Don was just praying somebody bluffed at it. Yeah. 
So. <laughs> so, as Mike polluted, to uh, Don just needs 199 more of those. He's getting closer. He is getting closer. <laughs> I don't think we could uh, get 199 extra hands dealt out in an hour, but. has the pocket trays. It's Miguel's ace queen. He's gonna go check, check. Okay. Another <coughs> turn. Then we'll get the gutter ball. Go, we'll scoop. Taking it down. Again, 168 entries in flight number four tonight when registration closed at 1020. So 17 players will advance. I wonder if there's a chip count update from flight number three. I'm going to take a look and see. I want to see who made it out. I know flight number one, uh, our good friend Mike Green was one of the players that qualified out of flight one. Nice. <laughs> Candyman Joe, that's funny. Uh, Antoine Prince is the chip chief leader from flight number two. It's the last update that I've seen. Of course, he won the I want to say he won the main event from the Run Good last year. If my memory <coughs> serves me correct. I know a uh, new update for Flight 3 results quite yet. Great. A pair of eights for Miguel. Yeah, I won't do that. Uh, I won't around two years. Trey on the river. Grant gonna have the best hand with the straight. have the hand. Yeah. 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 
also say, I told you yesterday, you got to be like, oh, it's I moaned it right in. He said, I complained the hand before. I was like, I lose every hand. So sick. You got to moan it right in. That's the key. Todd, dude, throwing in the initial raise, gets a couple callers. Three players of this flop. Do you see an ace? You're right in the window. Yeah. I think it's the ace of spades. Or ace of clubs, excuse me. Ace nine four, rainbow board. Todd, uh, see that takes it down. The table's kind of quieted down a little bit now. Not sure if it's because, you know, it is getting later in the night. These guys have been at it for five hours just about. He gets extra blockers for free. <laughs> Battle of nine high right now. John is going to take it down. Again, do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Do appreciate you guys being a part of it with us. If you like what you're watching, like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification for when we go live, especially with all the tournaments we got coming up for the Run Good <coughs> Poker Series. Final table action for event one on Sunday night. Women's tournament featured a final on Monday. Ambassador bounty event featured a final on Tuesday. And then, of course, the main event, 300K guarantee final table that we'll have on Sunday night, March 24th. Ace, ace, tray, flop here. Noah's going to scoop this one up. Yeah. 
Well, the guy who has been the big winner all night now has aces. He's got some ace crackers. It is. Jack 10 is a very good hand that could crack aces. That's a pretty good flop for Jack 10. A pair of 10s plus the gut shot. Eight on the turn, board getting more and more coordinated. Yeah, John, open-ended plus a flush draw. Yeah, he's got all the outs now. This is a pretty dangerous board for Noah's hand. He is holding the ace of clubs, so he is blocking some of that club draw. Noah bets 550 here. 1450 in the middle. He does put in the call. Taking a chance. Quite a few outs. There's one of them. There it is. The straight completes for John. He's going to check it over to Noah. And it's going to go check, check. Like you said it, that was a hand that could crack aces, and sure enough it did. So the connectors, the best kind of connectors. Mm -hmm. Jack 10, pretty good hand to have against aces. If you have to pick one, I'll take that one. Jack 10 suited, eight nine suited, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, absolutely. We've uh, talked about it on stream before. I know Kirk and I have. I know you're very much a proponent, as you just mentioned there, too. We uh, we definitely love our suited connectors. Suited one-gappers. These are always good hands to play. Yeah, especially in a game where the chip stacks are deep enough that you can pull some moves on later streets. It's mm -hmm. not something you see as often in tournament play when the stacks are shallow. Right. But for cash games, it's great to navigate. checks it over. I think Grant's thinking about bluffing. Obviously, he doesn't know he has the best hand in King High. Yep, yeah, that's definitely bluffing with the best hand. Yeah. And that was a snap fold from Todd as soon as he threw the chips out. Like I said, bonus live stream coverage tonight. We'll take this live stream to midnight. This 10:25 game. Carson Ace 10 making the call. It's Don. 10 for Carson. Don elected not to see that, just checked it back. Yeah. And turn 8 gives Don a gut shot. Yep. Carson does take the lead. Definitely a few outs that Don can hit here. He 
He is going to play with Call. Plus three draw. Now it's two pair for Carson. He's looking for. He's 10 for Carson. He's going to check it. Don checks it back. Really good awareness there by Carson, though, to check it over. Mm -hmm. Realizing if Don missed anything, kind of like the hand Don has, he might rep the ace. Obviously, you're never getting any any sort of value when you bet, and they have something that missed, so. Checking it over, giving him a chance to hang himself with a bluff. Obviously, it didn't get any chips at that time, but overall, I like the play. All right, Don, pocket kings. He gets the 400. Fortunately, no action. Ooh. Yep. It's gonna, I mean, it takes down a pretty good amount pre-flop, but still. Needs now, what, 198 of those? <laughs> See, he's not getting unstuck pre-flop. No, sure. no, he's not. That would be a negative. But yeah, guys, uh, some of the other tournaments that we got coming up, part of the Run Good Poker Series, of course, we talked about the women's event that's happening on Monday, and then the Ambassador event that's on Tuesday. Tomorrow, St. Patty's Day, we got a progressive knockout tournament for event number two. $400 buy-in for that tournament. I want to play in a live PKO. Yeah. Jealous. You guys all get to go over there and do that. <laughs> then on uh, two on that uh, Monday, the event number three, which is a uh, $300 buy-in. No limit hold'em tournament is going to take place at noon. The ladies' event actually is going to start at three o'clock on Monday the 18th. So that means we'll probably get our feature table going around 7.30 on Monday night. Tuesday the 19th is a big O tournament that's gonna be happening. As well as that Run Good Ambassador event, which is a $200 buy-in. Wednesday the 20th. A six max tournament, six hundred sixty dollar buy in. Also got a heroes event that's going to be taking place that day as well on Wednesday. Three hundred dollar buy in for that. And then on uh, Thursday the twenty first, day one A of our three hundred K guarantee, twelve hundred dollar buy in. Day one A on Thursday, day one B on Friday, day one B one C on Saturday. And of course, as I mentioned before, the Run good, main event, final table, 300K guarantee. That will be live streamed on Best Bet Live, obviously. We'll have that final table. And then also, for those that aren't able to make the money for the main event, we do have our Best Bet 500 that will happen on March 24th, which is a $500 buy-in tournament. You can check the entire tournament schedule on the website, bestbetjacks.com, for all the details. It has all the structures, as well as chip counts, everything that you need to know for those tournaments, all up on the website, bestbetjacks.com. All right, Mike getting back after it. Three bets at the 575 with ace queen off. <laughs> I mean, I want to fucking try it, man. I can't. They're not going to ask me back with my ten percent of hands played. That's not good. I'll take it. Hey, you're right. <laughs> yes. I know it's a problem. I'm just, trying. Just, 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 <laughs> I know. I know. He's been. He's, he's been kicking everybody's butt. And he gets away with it. I saw the jack juice. I saw that shit. Oh, nobody else saw it, but I saw it. <laughs> 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 Called out. <laughs> 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 
Todd putting in the raise with Ace Jack off suit. Bumps it up to 150. All right, so three players of this flop. Jack nine, ace jack. I think the other one was ace ten, yep. So a nine for John C playing the Adonis. The jack nine, we'd like to call it. Mike, I'm sure you heard Adonis uh, preach about his love of jack nine. Only for a few years. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Nine still holding strong here. Jack Nine's good. You got nine for you, right? Yeah, you buy for a year and you get a better deal. Nine good. Nine way good. Like a hamburger. Hamburger at the lodge is like twenty-five dollars. Wow, that's pricey. <laughs> $25 hamburger. It probably tastes really good. I I would hope. I would hope it is out of this world. I played with another guy in Ukraine. What, last time you said? Today, in the tournament. Guy wearing a polo outfit. <laughs> Carson opened it up. No no take her so far. Until we get to Todd. I mean, the best one to call the ace for. Now, is that skiing like France and Switzerland? Is that better than the Rocky Mountains here in Colorado? Utah? I have no idea it was here. We've never tried it before. I don't know much about it. Todd leads saying. with the wheel draw. Skiing, gets to take it down. Out west here, pretty good. <laughs> Damn good. Is it, now, is it better than like Switzerland and France or Super. similar? Different. Different? Okay, let's get to my top. All right, so here we are entering our final hour of the live stream. Here's uh, the way things look. Again, bonus live stream action. Can't miss it. Bucks, 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 bucks. Todd, 50% V pip. The way everything else looks as far as uh, <coughs> the action goes. And then uh, once <laughs> the hand closes out, we'll show the wins and losses. Let's look at that. Noah up 8,700. Mike up 8,100. John Grant even for the night. About as even as you can get in a 10 25 game. Todd's worked his way up a little bit. He's still stuck a bunch, uh, but not as bad as Don. Uh, he was stuck almost 10K. It's been a rough night for Don. Uh, and uh, Mike, appreciate you hanging out like always, man. Oh, it was my pleasure hanging out. Wish I didn't have to get up so early in the morning. I'd stay the whole way through. Yeah, no, like it's, normal. All, it's all good. Like I said, we got, we got often I have real plans. <laughs> yeah, I have like I have like three friends in the entire world now. So ah, when one of them comes calling, I got to answer. No, absolutely. Yeah, no worries. It's okay. We got John C at the table, so we'll be all right. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll catch you guys later this week. No, all right, Mike. Take care, buddy. Sunday. All right, be easy. Thanks again, Mike. All right, see you, country. See you. And that is, of course, uh, Mike Kruger, hardware manager, best bet in the park. Who did? Yeah, he um, had to bounce out and leave. It's all good, though. And, you know, he did kind of make the change uh, in the stream as the players did request to play one extra hour. Like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. Let it happen. Why not? And they gave us an extra week for free. Right, so here we go. PLO Bomb Pot. $100 Bomb Pot this time around. Oh, actually, no, they're doing, okay, never mind. They're doing Nolan Mahodam Bomb Pot. Okay. That is indeed Don. Don, two pair, Jack 10. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Q 
King of Hearts on the turn. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Whose idea was this? Let's go play volleyball. <laughs> I need a ton of students. I mean, come on. Well, thanks, guys. they finally play in the woman on a bomb pot. And Ton <laughs> says, thanks, guys. Ton takes it down. Was there a child? I told you there'd be no action. No action. Stupid, stupid. Thanks, guys. Let's see the old board anyway. So yeah, they did do the <laughs> they did do the uh, bomb pot. Yeah. No limit hold them to appease the Don. Are you gonna get the yeah. Yeah. yeah, bonus live stream coverage, guys. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> From Tallahassee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, thirty minutes east of Tallahassee. Not even actually Tallahassee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What, what, what town are you from? It's the only county in Florida without a stoplight. Serious? Stoplight. The whole county? It's the whole county. It's the only county in Florida. Yeah. 406. Eastern Kentucky, <laughs> Southwest West Virginia, because that's got Appalachian written all over it right there. Yeah. Hey, I, have you heard of Albany, Georgia? Yeah. That's where I grew up. So. Okay, yeah. That's, I mean, it's very close. Drug Central. Yeah. That's why I, I don't, I've never tried a drug in my life. Yeah. Um, because I saw, I saw so many people, you know, they're 15 and their lives are ruined because of drugs. I'm like, what fucking mess with that? I do drink like a fish, however. Water. Water if it's fermented with grain. I have it. You have it? Yeah, find the bit. Oh, like. Oh, my. Alright, where is it? Plus one. Three plus. Chicken, chicken, Albany's so bad. 
<coughs> my mom's house got wiped down the flood of 94. Mm -hmm. Cost 125 grand to rebuild. Uh, I just sold it about two weeks ago for 70. Oh, wow. 50 to go three Yeah, let's take a quick look at how many players are left in flight number four. 51 entries are still in, so they're going to be still playing that down for a while to get to 17 players to advance to day two. Guys that I knew, uh, one guy a year older, one guy a year younger, and another guy that I kind of knew, but I wasn't friends. I was friends with two of them. Wow. Not when it happened. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I got yeah, dark. Your friend, Check. Check. So now a few out to uh, open up a mic here. Check. He's got himself a gutter now. That does not hit. Don will have the best hand okay. here. Seven rifles, shall we? Yeah. One of the guys bought a bag of weed, there was oregano. Went back to the drug dealer's house and took 12 gauge goes out and blows that off. He got 18 years. Another guy took his fucking deer rifle. Stuck it in his sister where it doesn't belong in a shot. He killed both his parents. He called the police. Every cop in town shows up, obviously. He starts getting in the shower, and the cop says, what are you doing? He goes, well, I gotta go to work. And after his family's laying there all bloody, he tells the cop, I gotta go to work. And the cop's like, oh, put your hands up and you're under arrest. They do right away, right? All right, well, that's a straddle for a hundred. He's still in prison. The guy that killed the drug dealer got out. He got 18 years. Go. I mean, you kill your own family, you're not exactly thinking straight. Four, six. I had another friend. But, like, you pulled the cops in. You called it in as yourself. Was he, like, on mental at the time? This is in the 80s, so I doubt it. Heads up. Heads up. Queen four deuce flop we here, rainbow board, Miguel. It's his queen. Selling tons of weed. And and six on the turn. He was facing two to five years in prison for the weed. He paid somebody to because his partner was gonna testify against him. He paid somebody to kill his partner and got caught. So instead of two to five, he got fucking twenty-five. <laughs> I mean, people just don't think straight. Check, check. You're, tw you're 25 years old and you're facing two to five. You can still have a life. Oh, yeah. 25, yeah. your life's over. Wow. People are just so stupid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he got busted talking on his phone about the grow operation. He had his, bug, his phone bug. And he, same phone, he called some guy and offered him like five grand to kill his partner. On the same fucking phone. After he'd already been arrested and knew the phone was fucking bugged. Oh, oh, fucking Nimrod. Like, like you said, it was the 80s. <laughs> Best buddy. I mean, think about it. I thought I was a smart kid growing up. I got out of that town, I'm like, I'm fucking average. <laughs> Back home, I'm fucking Einstein. <laughs> Well, you know, it is uh, when we get to this part of the uh, live stream, when we do extend it out, we are officially at, you know, best bet after dark. Funny, we've actually talked about that before, like what would be the concepts of best bet after dark? This would be super late night poker. Although this is definitely not super late night, but still. John just having a good time bringing the life to the party. Mike three betting it here to 650 with nines. Don's gonna let go of King Jack and Mike's gonna scoop this one up. Again, a reminder, guys, don't forget tomorrow the final two flights of event one. Noon start time for flight number five. Was nurse, was, uh, 6 p.m. start time for flight number six. 
Just adding on to that prize pool, we have definitely passed that 100k guarantee. I want to say, like I said, we're at a little either over or under <laughs> around 150k <laughs> in the prize pool right now. They tried to do that now, and that got made public. Oh my god. What in the world? I have my uh, Yeah, you could potentially be doubling that and then some tomorrow. And like they, the like final they, two flights. And of course, you know, all, all the guards are white. And all, all the Jack. All right, King Jack versus Ace Deuce. And six, queen, four, flop, four spades on the turn. Ace Deuce still in the lead for Noah. King on the river does complete clubs. John hitting his king. Takes it down. Yeah. I wonder how long that lasted. Like, how, how, <laughs> was it really nice? And, and <laughs> the warden and a couple of the higher ups had loaders. They'd, they'd shoot, they'd hand their gun to an inmate. The inmate would reload their shotgun and hand it back. Wow. But those were all trustees that were in for life and no trouble for years. My mom like told me all kinds of crazy it. fucking stories. It really was like shit. <laughs> 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 Identifier dealer, team on me. I'll go three. There we go. Three hundred. Four hundred. Sorry, boys. Sorry, boys. All right, heads up action here. Ace five ten, all diamonds. Todd has the deuce of diamonds. He's on bet four hundred. I believe in the commentary booth tomorrow will be myself and Kirk. I'll be commentating. And then uh, dealing the live stream, it's going to be Jacob and the return of Theo, who's been gone for a little bit. is going to put in the raise on the button. 9-7 suited. Alright, looks like we're heads up. I think we're heads up between Todd and uh, John here. And that's going to be it. Looks like John taking that one down. I mean, my love is full. 
I didn't have any of those. I had six hot. So I had seven. Pretty, I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm pretty sure you're right. I had the six hot. I had six three clubs. Oh, wait, this is being recorded? Oh, it's seven nine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It hasn't stopped someone before. <coughs> this is true. I don't think somebody's going to watch it for five hours to see if I was telling the truth on one hand. Also true. Nine on the river, Ace King. Todd. You know Tommy that plays downside Augustine? Young kid in the tournament right there? Yeah. He went up at that one. He got booted. He got booted? Plays really. It's like, dude, you got to change a few words here and there. You got you to mix it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit either. I mean, you're going back to that. He's got the poker bug for sure. <laughs> All right, so we got three players of this flop. Nine, six, five, two spades. John has himself the straight. Back throw to clubs for Grant. Also with a gutter. Todd pair of fives. Oh, spades complete on the board. It's going to check around. Six pairs the board. That's a fourth spade, too. John ha having to try to bet here, trying to get some type of value, but I don't think he's going to get it. Grant just a pair of jacks. The four spades out there. Flushes are there. Straights are there. Got to get rid of it. Look at the flop. Spade, spade, pair of the board. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh, another spade. Oh, pair the board. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you were thinking about it, I'm like, oh, I could be raising this. What am I going to do? Shit. I should have raised this. Yeah. You want to want it? <laughs> I'll tell you the next time. Yeah. <laughs> you should raise me. <laughs> I'll kick you on the table. How could you tell? Does he stick out in the crowd? He's six He's so skinny. He's so skinny. Six eight, one sixty probably. Six eight, six eight, one six is probably. Okay, Oh, I heard Kyle. 
ความอะไรอีกทีหนึ่งขอบคุณทุกท่านที่ติดตามรับชมและถ้าชอบอย่าลืมกดไลค์กดกระดิ่งกดแชร์กดติดตามด้วยนะครับและถ้าชอบอย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์กดติดตามด้วยนะครับและถ้าชอบอย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์กดติดตามด้วยนะครับและถ้าชอบอย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์กดติดตามด้วยนะครับ To the live stream, some one three no limit hold'em games with uh, double board bomb pots, which is a Saint Augustine game. It's also going to be a one K mix game that we're going to have on the live stream. Do you only take for sixteen minutes and no one calls block on you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, of course, uh, talking about earlier, we'll have a 5-10 no limit hold'em game that's done Orange Park rules, where there will be the dealer button and then also one button that goes in reverse every orbit, which will feature double board bomb pots. So a lot of double board bomb pots, basically a double board bomb pot every eight hands. Pretty exciting stuff that we got coming up for the month of April. When that schedule does become public on the website, make sure you sign up for it. A lot of cool games we're going to have, especially the mixed games that we're going to have. Uh, Joe, I want to say it's the same. I think it's the 100 to 500, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can ask Sage and Jesse if we're going to keep it uh, keep it the same buy-ins as far as uh, Saint Aug is, you know, how Saint Aug runs it. Because essentially, what we're doing is we're running those type of games on the live stream to promote the other rooms, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the idea of why we're going to try uh, these new wrinkles and everything. And it's also part of the reason I, why we're doing now the double board bomb pots on the uh, dealer chains for our time rate games when it comes to no limit hold'em, because um, basically we're trying to test out some things as far as our capabilities for the live stream. But like I said, uh, expect that schedule to come up probably sometime next week. I will say for the April schedule. So definitely just stay tuned uh, for that. All right, four players. Deuce, Jack, six, two spades. Don has a pair of sixes, a pair of jacks for Todd. It's a battle of uh, the two players that are the most stuck at the table right now, Todd and Don. Todd gave a look as Todd put in the call. I was like, what are you calling it with? Well, now trip six is for Don. He gets there on the river. I got there. <laughs> Don said, I got there. You most definitely did. Don's going to scoop up a pot there. But yeah, like I said, guys, that uh, April schedule will probably be up on the website sometime next week. 
So stay tuned for that when it does uh, become live. Taking down another one. We've got about a half hour left on the live stream now. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll do another stat check here in just a minute after this hand is done. Because I'm assuming that uh, we'll have our dealer change after this hand. 8-5 deuce, two clubs. Todd in the lead with his trays. Ten on the turn. Let's check around. That's pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive uh, check back from Grant. Todd's gonna to take this one down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don said, "Don't do another no limit bomb." Bomb. But what Todd said last time happened, where there would be no action. The Todd did two percent VIP. That's twenty percent higher than everybody else at the table. Mike thirty-two percent, John thirty percent, Don thirty percent. Those are the VIPs. As uh, we are entering our final thirty minutes of the live stream. Once a hand closes out, we'll show the earnings as far as who's up and who's down. Just have to wait for the hand to close out so the stats update as far as the earnings go. Once that happens, there we go. And yeah, Noah still the big winner, eight thousand for him. Let's show that again real quick. Mike up a bit, John up a bit, everyone else kinda stuck. There we go, double board bomb pot. So we're back in the PLO for the final double board PLO bomb pot. Uh, Looks like lost, we lost our graphics for a second. Uh, not exactly sure what happened. We are at the turn. Huh. Yeah, not quite sure what happened here. Oh, it's not reading the bottom board. Oh, so I think something might have happened uh, with the sensor on this board. Because the bottom board is not detecting at all. It looks like the top board has been uh, input. Yeah, yeah, so the top board is showing, but not the bottom board. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Four hours up top. John says he has a full house on the top board. Wow, Noah got quads again? Wow, that's the second time Noah had quads in a PLO double board bomb pot. Thanks for not repotting it. Don says, is that a chop? Yeah, it most definitely was. Well, on the turn, I made nine full of sixes, and it was an eight on the board. I'm like, get somebody pocket eights. Get somebody pocket eights. And the river was an eight. I'm like, no pocket eights. No pocket eights. He said eight feet on the bottom. What? Yeah, eight feet on the bottom, right? No. Oh, I had a nine. Oh, yeah, nine. Yeah, but he could have pocket eights on. Pocket five. Four more than three. Four more than three. Three. Good hand. Three. I think it might have been the order. Turn my hand. Watch nine. You're slow playing Ace King. I'll check. Hold on.
that's your scooping box? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> How much time do we have? Do we have time for one more round? You guys want to do a round uh, around 100? Was that? I mean, I was gonna say I, I was, was gonna be for me to start. <laughs> what, what's around hundred? Like a hundred dollar shot. Everybody's doing hundred. That's the start of it. Yeah. Raise two fifty. The end of it. Just for some blood. Okay, so we got about about ten minutes left in the live stream, and then uh, we will be bidding you all adieu, and then be back at it tomorrow for the two-two no hold on deep stack cash game. Get that going around four fifteen tomorrow. Come on, Mike! Come on! Todd is trying everything in his power to get someone to play a hand with him. Not working out. John, I'm gonna call with the Ace King. <laughs> Deuce Queen Six, Rainbow Board. Really hit anybody's range here. He's high, still good for John with the king kicker. Don behind the eight ball a bit. Ace will not help him at all. John will go ahead and fire out a bet. Ace, just kidding, just kidding. gets all of it. Already at the river, actually. Uh, so, yeah, John does take it down. Already at the river, and John is going to be scooping. Right. Yeah. That top 
set of kings the last time. That was yum yum. <laughs> I think we're getting closer and closer to the final three hands of the night. Queen 6-6, six, six. wow, Todd with trips. Trip sixes for Todd. So he's going to get a little bit back here. Miguel, the back door is about it. going to let it go. Here, Todd. Ah. I think the next hand is when we'll do the final three. And then, uh, of course, we will bid you all farewell until the 2 2 stream tomorrow. We'll get that going around 4 15. Yes, sir. Very inviting. Very, very inviting. <laughs> very inviting. Noah's eight, sir. What's in the lead here? Now Noah going to bet 300. No one else on really anything here, so it's going to be going ahead and folding it up. All right, guys, so here we are, final hand of the night. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. It's 1025 live stream. And 
And again, we'll be back at it tomorrow. 2-2 two, two deep stack. Again, also final two flights of event number one taking place tomorrow as well. Noon for flight number five. 6 p.m. for flight number six. Uh, Todd playing Ronan's favorite hand, 7-4, offsuit. And Miguel, two pair, deuces and kings. Carson's on bet 225. Miguel going to let it go. There we go. That is going to be it. So that is it for tonight, guys. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's go ahead and show stats one last time. There we go. A little crackling still there. Sorry about that. All right, so here's the final stats. Quick look at the V-pips. Yep, Todd, uh, no surprise. Leading the V-pips. Everyone else, 31% and below. And uh, that's the way that looks. And the earnings, Noah and Mike are your two big winners. John C. Uh, got a little bit after it, too. So he ends up being a winner as well. Todd and Don end up being the most stuck at the table. But that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. For our dealers tonight, Jacob and Kirk, kind of a throwback with uh, Jacob and Kirk dealing together again on the live stream. And for Mike Kruger, Carter Room Manager, Best Bet Orange Park, who was here with commentary with me. My name is Ryan, also known as Country. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 415, 2-2 Deep Stack. Until then, y'all take care, be easy. Thanks for watching.